Uh, I'm tired of this room. I go to the next room <laughs> where the fire is. Good. Everyone Indeed. has their specific areas they don't like. Handsome the little fire The Ascot room is not for you. The... <laughs> My goodness. I hope you find the arena of fighting <laughs> skeletons that you're clearly <laughs> looking for. Thank you. <laughs> Too kind. Um, just like in this room, there's a fireplace, but this one's lit, about the same size. It doesn't take a while to get up there, and there's a fire in it now, so maybe not. Uh, it's a bedroom with a large four-poster bed, dusty, uh, and it appears that there is a person under the, like, under the blankets uh, of the bed, sleeping, breathing, uh, and a writing desk by the east wall with a, with a little stool and some stuff on it. I go shake the person. Uh, is it written? Shake? Uh, and then, as you do, it sort of deflates, and you, right, the blankets come down a bit, and there's no one there, and they just rest upon the bed. Well, <laughs> throw the blanket out of the bed. Dust from the skeleton. <laughs> nice. Uh, it releases a huge puff of dust. <coughs> Make a roll. Uh, one, two, three, you start hacking, and then you try to give you. Six. <laughs> You're able to not hack so much. The windows in this room have cracked uh, by the bell flail, uh, by the way, and he does uh, appear to be investigating this area, although now he's gone to the first floor. So you like just missed him when you walked okay. in. But uh, only time will tell. He'll probably look up here again. What's on the... Is anything written on the paper? Is there paper on the writing desk? Yep, dry, there, it's an ink pot, but it's all dried up. A quill, a pen, and a sealed letter. Kind of, do I recognize the seal? Ooh, yeah. Make a, make a d6 roll. Let's see if you get four, five, six. You might know this house. Yes. Um, excellent. It is the house Fenwick. Uh, the Fenwicks were... Uh, Church-going folk. <laughs> <laughs> quite the opposite. Particularly oh, their oh. latest, uh, their last scion who disappeared 120 years ago. Elias was known for dabbling in necromantic and occult arts, and he was a member of the Order of the Black Moon, which this was purportedly a headquarters for. Uh, it is Elias Fenwick's seal, which looks kind of cool tonight. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but... Uh... Wax with that on it. Excellent. So you know that about him, and he mysteriously went missing. Uh, oh, the people. Okay. After he went missing, the church threw a big party. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you know about him. <laughs> He's the enemy of the church. Okay. Um. The letter sealed. Anything else on the desk? Um. The drawers, drawers open. empty. Okay. Yep, nothing else. I'll start into the legs of the desk. <laughs> Wait. Did you just leave the letter sealed? <laughs> well, I'll hold the letter. I was going to give it to, <laughs> probably to the captain because uh, you're lifting you're belt. <laughs> <laughs> it up. The captain's like out. completely distracted. Yeah. Like fixated oh. on this lock. Uh, she's like halfway into the wine clothes, and now <laughs> she's like trying to grab like the lock. Three, 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 three. I'm dead set on giving this ass cut. So I'm with the like, captain. With <laughs> nails. On I'll hold on to it till you're. Hey, what, are doing? what are you doing? <laughs> we need this ascot. He clearly was wearing a silver one when he entered that room. It's important. I'm here as magic. Just putting one plus three divided uh, by point great. They six. seem busy. I'll just open this letter. <laughs> Dearest Lavinia, we have recovered the twelfth sarcophagus. The knight was resistant to my commands at first. But with some slight reformulations, he has become utterly obedient. Come to Willoughby. I must see you. Signed, Elias. Well, she never got the message, so... <laughs> She's been waiting. <laughs> Interesting. All right, well... From the next room, you hear a call of... Oh, forget it! You there, <laughs> skeletal cabin boy! <laughs> Cannonball this chest! Oh. And uh, Kevin Dex shelters behind the bookshelf. This is every cannonball, he has a bomb! You don't have any matches left. It goes over to you to light the wick. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Anyway. 
around her fire, goes to the fireplace <laughs> to light the wick. <laughs> Oh, well, there was a fire in there. That's right. Okay. Yes. All right. So there's a bomb in this room now. I'm hiding as well. The skeleton just looks at him. I'm it. in this room. All right. <laughs> the skeleton trying to go into this room. Excellent. Oh, it bombs. matters now. Which skeleton is it? <laughs> yeah. It was whichever one was nearest was Kevin Boy. Oh, okay. Well, borrow a pencil. That's one expendable. <laughs> Let's know where everybody is. Uh, Dex, are you? In the library, huddling behind a bookshelf and peering out to watch this um, cabin boy meet its inevitable demise. Nice. Um, wait. Uh, I, mm. The library's where the hell are we? Oh, you sorry, in the dressing room. Yeah, we're in the dressing room. I, I got right. rooms crossed up. You're right. Um, and co- cowering behind a dresser? You'd be at risk of being hurt by the bomb if you stay in this room. Well, what's But like you could peek little... through this door or go to the balcony and look Is this the a door here? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm up there. I want to go with like <laughs> some level of risk, but still closer to the action than the rest of the crew. Um, so behind whatever cover is available without leaving the room. Excellent. All right, some level of risk it is. <laughs> <laughs> behind the door. Yep, you can be behind uh, wardrobe as you said, close She's as far away as you can. She's a mad woman. <laughs> this level of wine robe, Captain yeah. Dex is like a certain amount of immune from fear uh-huh. and just wants to be here when this thing blows open. Um, and then you throw open this door. You're near there as well because you're going out. And then where are you? Uh, I guess I'm further back than the captain is, but I was near the captain because I was waiting on her to open up the yeah for the ascot. So I'm. Either hallway, either one, whichever one would have been closest to the ascot right. <laughs> chest, if you will. Here on the balcony, but then the giant will see you. And the giant will see you. Excellent. Mm-hmm. You Watch yourself, Doctor, there. unless your ascot singe. Oh, you <laughs> fool! Oh, oh what the hell? <laughs> oh. Not really that big, but I like this toy. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, within this room, you throw open. T- you hear the bomb ticking down as uh, I described this. <laughs> Uh, within this room, filled with glass cabinets with mummified body parts, uh, there in the center is a huge black sarcophagus uh, of some strange, uh, irregularly bumped material. Uh, the top of it has fallen to the ground, so it's at an angle you can't see the top. It's like it's been slid off, and having just risen out of it is this guy. Uh, and he looks towards you, and I suppose you have some number of this. One of the skeletons is here. But evens one or odds two of them are by you. Evens one of them is by you. And he holds out his hand to the skeleton uh, and then points at one of you three who are, one of you two who are nearby, (laughs) evens odds to you. And the skeleton goes and goes to whacking the bomb in the head. Oh no! no. Uh, so make a d6 roll to evade. Four, five, six, you're able to get out of the way. One, two, three. One. <laughs> you've got a, you've got a, you've been uh, surprised attacked by a skeleton, so you can keep in mind you have a bruise on your head. That's one out of your two injuries. Can I use a, my armor to stop the yep. injury? Yes. So your busted, crumbled helmet, you get in the way and it just falls away. Do I no longer have armor? Uh, correct. Yep. Oh. <laughs> you you have broken armor, so you could repair it, but uh, not to, probably yeah, not today. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's the helmet. Where, that where did this happen? Off and where latches on everything <laughs> else in here. <laughs> Here's where what the hell? Is the red guy. Here's where all y'all are. Okay, so and I just sit down in the hallway. And you two are over here. I've made the mistake to go out on the so I can see this. Whatever's going on. Mm-hmm. It's fine, I'm sure. You're totally tan. Yeah, you're what, you, what do you do? With, like, how would you react? Man, so right next me. to you, one of the skeletons has turned tail on you and is beating your friend. And then you see this creature ominously approaching with a huge sword in hand. Oh, God. Uh, I start singing a hymn out of my pocket. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> exercise uh, him. Yeah, I'm going to try and exercise. I just say that thing. Undead. I don't know if I can do that in the middle of battle. Is that something that would take? Hmm. Oh, you got a big, strong orc berserker that could probably hold it down if necessary. He's already taken one bludgeoning to the head. He's fine. There's black smoke coming out of the armor, uh, and the bones are themselves 
blackened. They're more black than white. It's purely made out of this negative energy. An exorcism wouldn't be effective because it hasn't yet gone into someone else's body. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have a way to fix that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you want to use your special power? No. You turn into a child? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he has a secret thing that he hasn't brought up since the giant appeared in the very oh. first scene. Oh, yeah. I thought it would be well, pretty funny. Have to get him we can't exercise him, he's not in the body. <laughs> I can put him in the body. <laughs> sign <laughs> this, baby. Come on, sir. Coward, sign it. <laughs> he doesn't really, look like the signing type. I, I, I really changed the dynamic. <laughs> My blowgun is just. The ammunition is just regular, or it's an actual like a magic missile type of thing. It's a regular, <laughs> <laughs> but I just never run out of ammunition. Right. You can run out, but the mechanics for how running out in this game works are abstract, so that's oh, why it's okay. kind of magical. My right. results determine the past. You never know yes, when that exactly. blowgun will jam and never be fixed again. <laughs> uh, well, I'll try and hit this guy with. <laughs> <laughs> like blow dart, I, don't, I doubt it will so, do anything good. As a, y'all know, you each have two like wounds and then you're out of the action. You can tell just by looking at this badass, it's seven. Seven hits to get this. Oh, those guys. Yeah, it's like the seven. Who's the giant? <laughs> 10, 12, 12, 12 for the giant. 12 for the giant. Yeah, yell for help. <laughs> help! Take the skelly's bond! <laughs> yes. You roll for the blow gun. Four, five, six, it'll hit. One, two, three, it won't hit. Three, it won't hit. So roll again. One, two, three, your ammo goes down. Ah, oh, damn it! Alright, so now you have two. Uh, these abstract ammo counter bits left. Yeah. And effectively the same amount of ammo. <laughs> goes, it just goes through uh, the bones and here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, piercing weapons versus skeletons. Damn the, it. The uh, creature comes up, this creature, the giant, <laughs> sees you. Oh no! Vans! You see in his beard is Smee, is sort of looking up at an odd angle. <laughs> <laughs> My Mildred! So, evens it's the fists, odd it's the bell. <laughs> Roll! Uh, one, two, three, you are grabbed and squeezed. Four, five, six, you're able to evade the giant's fist. I you grabbed! <laughs> A broken rib, you can write that down. You've got one injury. Oh no! And you're in the giant's grasp. A bomb explodes. <laughs> it's all going according to plan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, which shatters uh, and harms the giant because uh, splinters of wall and door and glass are. It's only that Dr. Hamler is protecting I know, you're right. It's like the explosion of the giant's sheltering fingers. What's the hope? He's just trying to right into the back of the. Roll. Oh, one, two, three, you're safe. Four, five, six. Er, backwards. Uh, one, two, three, you are hit by shrapnel and injured again further. Four, five, six. Uh, Oh, I'm not good enough. It rolls for this. Five! Oh, excellent. Oh. It drops you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Back to the balcony again. You're, oh, uh, back to the balcony. Yeah. <laughs> Roll again. Why not? Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Great chance for hanging on the balcony. One, two, three, you're hanging on for dear life. Four, five, six, you're spawned out your ass in the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging on, bomb just blew up. The giant uh, takes two hits from that. It's a significant <laughs> oh. hurt. How's our captain doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, Doctor Himmler. Uh, shoot. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> bomb strikes. Roll a d6. One, two, three, and the you take an injury as the wardrobe blows up on you. Uh, four, five, six, you take two injuries and it fails you. <laughs> oh, that's a six! Nice. All right, so you're blown back and <laughs> impaled, and you're not going to be able to really act for a while <laughs> until that uh, bit of uh, wine flows onto the ground and forms a puddle in the carpet around you. <laughs> Ascots! In, in her, in her <laughs> interest state. Um, can Captain Dax be like seeing through blurred, vi blurred vision the collapsing um, wardrobes around her and like clawing toward 
an the ascot. ascot. <laughs> the choicest silver ascot. <laughs> Doctor! Doctor, my crewmate needs that ascot. <laughs> a skeletal hand flying through the air. Pats it down towards you. <laughs> you got it. Everything was a what good little action she has. You bomb! She's to try to Wait, crawl her way toward the balcony <laughs> to extend, like, holding a skeletal hand with an unraveled oh, ascot nice. to try to <laughs> push nice. the doctor back up. <laughs> I understand it may take a while because she's on death's door. Great. You're crawling towards the ascot <laughs> and the doctor's hanging on for dear life. Uh, you're being harried by a scary uh, creature. Uh, it gestures scary at you. Hair. <laughs> the floorboards burst below you and bones just start flying up apparently they were dead bodies uh, roll a d6 one two three you are caught in the bone cage four five six you are able to oh, it's a spell for this. like i thought it was part of the explosion so i'm like what the hell explosions everywhere there's bones in the walls <laughs> four, four five six you'll be escape damn it <laughs> so a cage of bones is now around you uh pretty tight uh, but you could use uh, your time to burst out of it, but now uh, he's going to take a chance to stab <laughs> at you. Oh my gosh. Uh, what, first... was, what, uh, what was the name on the um, on the letter? It was... Read that again? Yes. It was from Elias Fenwick, uh, theoretically. Elias Fenwick to Lavinia. Dearest Lavinia, we've recovered the 12th oh, nice. sarcophagus. The knight was resistant to my commands at first, but with some slight reformulations, he has become utterly obedient. Come to Willoughby, I must see. Mm. What, a, what a letter to write to say. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Better to know the reformulation. They didn't name the knight, it's just the knight. Yep. Um, I am the knight. No time like the present, I drink my liquid childhood. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got shrimp balls in your own childhood. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, well, shrink to a third your size. You are not actually de-aged. <laughs> am, I, am I harder to hit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll say uh, incoming attacks have disadvantage on hitting. Good, good. Um, what else in this room again? I need this. I need this layout. I need to. I need to make a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make a plan. Now let me <laughs> mummified body parts in various places. Oh. There is a hand with its, uh, there's a mummified hand with fingers spread, but it's like writhing, so it still has a big force. Um, there's a head, uh, also mummified with black teeth, and it is also gnashing. Mm -hmm. There are other body parts, uh, not as interesting as those, those are clearly like, <laughs> um, cases. Can I grab the, the gnashing head? head? Yeah. And throw it at his face, or bash him in the face with it. So you're going to have to maneuver beyond him to get to it and be in the room, and there's a risk that he's just going to stab you. Mm, so 50% chance of getting stabbed, 50% chance of harming him with the gnashing head. Okay. Because he's in the way. Okay. okay. Yes. Alright. I was going to mention something. Though. You're in the home yeah, cage. Right there. <laughs> there's the skeleton with the pop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so I'm standing between both of you. Wait, so it's like you on. are by the window here. There's okay. a skeleton with a bomb between you. You're standing here, and then he's in front of all of you. Can I wrench the bomb away and run into the room with the fire? Yeah. Hey. Um. Yep. You know what so, the scene needs? Another explosion. <laughs> hey, what's what's the first one, guys? Yeah. The skeletons aren't. Uh, you know, warriors, you're able to wrench it away easily. Uh, and then you can run into the other room. The question is, uh, did the skeleton attack you? I don't think so. <laughs> like I said, a servant. Uh, but it's going to chase you. You go in to the room. You want to light the bomb. Yeah. Wait, it's chasing I have a you? lantern right here. This this is slowly <laughs> coming towards you, yes. And it's not it's not the it was okay. never blew out the How long does the bomb take to go off? Did we learn that? Or we should... Uh, Tell you how that it's a one d four timer, I think, but I'm gonna. That's what I did last time, so I hope. Time it's... units being seconds, or like a dramatic count of seconds. Throw this person literally yeah, watching you seconds. run by the plane. You people need God. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> he stabbed you. He's going to no, he tried. Oh no, he just. I'm caught in a bone cage. Yeah. You know, you you light it and then you have a while. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. 
I, I light it. Am I still going here? <laughs> That's the end of your turn. So you're, you're holding a bomb, uh, two ske- a skeleton in front of you, a guy in a skeleton cage behind that, it's an evil skeleton with armor behind that, a giant uh, on the other side of the room. <laughs> oh, I just want my goose. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a 60s Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. Yeah, helmets. Cry there. from the floor of Anne, Elizabeth. Your crew needs you. <laughs> yeah, where are all those guys? <laughs> uh, helmets shaking. Lisbeth, Lisbeth sees uh, all that's gone on there in the hall over here by this uh, um. door. Uh, Helmut is just again like when you first met him, kind of in shock and Im- immobile. And Lisbeth's like, "We have to find Anne! Come on, come on!" And drags Helmut away, <laughs> away from the scene. Oh, no. uh, why did you make a D uh, D six roll, four five six, to convince them to not leave you? For <laughs> One, two, three, Please. One. Oh damn it! Get find Anne and, and get out of some depths. <laughs> 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 They're off. They're gonna go this way. All right, back to the slow crawl to eventually <laughs> nice. extend a helping hand with Ascot. <laughs> you see the Ascot <laughs> drape over the edge in the hand of a skeleton. <laughs> what do you do, dear doctor? I have, I have to ask this very specific question. Does that ogre look like he could be picked up by the strength of ten men? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, it's just sarcophagus, yeah. What sarcophagus? I'm sorry. I guess you haven't seen it. There's a sarcophagus in this room. Oh, okay, yeah, I would definitely. Have. I've seen the ascot and the giant. That's what I'm going to work with. Oh, the strength God. of ten men would help. Uh, you know, if you're chopping at him. The what? The strength of ten men would uh, make your attacks against him more effective. That would be the. Okay. He's right next to you. You can see his big smelly beard. The the zombie is close enough to touch. A broken rib is what makes me nervous. <laughs> I think you've got a very encouraging sword. I do have a very yeah, encouraging I know what the sword wants. I've never not known Now is the time <laughs> yeah. for heroism and grandeur. Victory! The giant is bothered by this. I hate that you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> you were always a good captain. I grab that silver ass cut and I'll go to the ground. I'll drink the potion specifically prior to falling to the ground. Hopefully, maybe the strength of ten men will help me not die from the fall. I buy that. Yes! You can fall to the uh, ground as you're falling. There's also the giant right by you. You could grab onto its beard or... Ooh, uh, yeah, that sounds oh, mean. The strength of ten men. The strength of, with the strength of ten men, I grab the giant's beard as I oh, fall with the power of gravity. You've got a silver ascot in one hand and a potion in the other hand and a giant spear between your elbows. How much going to wield the sword? <laughs> I'll get there when we get there. <laughs> Roll 1d6. Okay. As the beard, as you pull down on the beard, uh, its folds open up and within is... What's face? <gasps> Damn it! Three. Three. A fist-sized ruby worth at least 2,000 gold pieces Whoa. is just in the beard. Whoa. Tumbles out on it's like, resting against your face. What? <laughs> All right. Uh, the Skeletor goes up to stab you while you're in the cage. Who's got initiative? Mm, why don't you roll... Uh, what would you like to do as you see him approaching? Um, with stabby stab. I would, I would say, hey, I'm, I'm uh, the guy from the letter. <laughs> Elias, Elias, Elias Fenwick. Uh, yes, it is me, Elias Fenwick. This gives him pause. Uh-huh. He cocks his head and looks at you. Like, I uh, command you to go attack the giant on the other side of the, uh, through that room, <laughs> over there. There's a, there's a giant ogre which you must defeat. Nice roll, 1d6, 4, 5, 6. Oh. Come on, priest! Come on! One. Oh, oh organist, why? Let's see up and down. And oh, I thought that was a success. Party. 4, 5, 6 is a success. Oh. This wasn't a 1 and 6 chance. <laughs> <laughs> that still gets me. I really <laughs> do. Was, uh, he clearly, when you said Elias Fenwick, he stopped in his tracks. Yeah. Looked at you. 
Um, then he goes to stab you in between the bars. <laughs> roll, uh, roll 1d6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, you're able to dodge out of the way. 4, 5, 6. Well, now it's low. You got a nice stab. All right. Your cover yeah. maybe. It's always 50 50. I, I mix all it up right. all the time. That's all right. Whatever. Um, it should be, four, five, six should always be good. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, good. Good. You're able to dodge out of the way. Now his sword is in there. You're in a bone cage. Uh, the giant sees that you're climbing up there. Does he have? Oh, a bone? I was just trying to slow my descent. I'm not trying to. Slow my it's in yeah. a Please. gauntlet like like this, and you can see dark smoke pouring out of it, and it appears that the smoke is constantly coalescing into the substance of his bones. It's like made out of darkness. Just pull the hand off the body <laughs> and with the sword. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will. It stays. It All is. Right. It is it has ligaments of smoke conjoining it. Right. Well, however, I'm going to try and get the sword out of his hand. <laughs> so he can't stab me again. Nice! <laughs> He's got but his I mean, hand you can in wait there, till the next in the cage. Okay. Go ahead, roll. Uh, you can get a six. Well, four, five, six. You can either harm or disarm him, but it's going to be my choice whether he gets harmed or disarmed. Oh, okay. Four, five, six, and one. Mm-hmm. Damn it! All right. Sucking. So you you're just holding onto his arm. Now he's like he's stuck. He can't okay. pursue any of your friends. Uh, and you've got the bomb. What do you want to do? With <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I run in underneath the other skeleton's legs or something. <laughs> Being as I'm like two, you two can and a half feet tall. past him, uh, but you might take an injury uh, as you go. You know what I mean? So fifty percent chance of injury, but you get past him either way. You don't if really you want to do this all with one fell swoop, you can <laughs> really get past him with a 50% chance of being injured, and then do what you're going to do. Okay. Can I pull vault over him with my 10 foot fall? Uh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, yep. You run up, pull vault up. Uh, yeah. Bottom in mouth. Six, you can get past him. One, two, three, you end up landing on top of him. How long does the bottom tank to go? <laughs> It started your last turn. <laughs> and then you'll have to decide about the bomb <laughs> based on what happens. <laughs> close to blowing up. Three. Yeah. In the top room, uh, that skeleton is no more. So you crush it. It's, oh, it's so which one was that? Uh, we're down a cabin boy. What's the, what's this one? Now? We're down two cabin boys. Two cabin boys. Okay, so the chef's still alive. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, the chef's still alive. Yes. Yes. Where is he? <laughs> He's got a bomb and a. What? Uh, yeah. Two bombs. Two bombs. Yeah. Oh, he's got both bombs. Oh, Jesus. Uh, he's in here. <laughs> okay. He was looking at the writing desk. <laughs> <laughs> you sweet innocent chef. <laughs> All right. So you crush him, but you're like laying on the ground now, and the bomb's about to go, so you can throw it somewhere. Yeah, I want to throw it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> at the big scary skeleton. Awesome. I'm trying to position roll, myself roll. so the skeleton, the big guys between. I'll them. sing your song! <laughs> I say as I throw the bomb. Oh my gosh! Um, that would kill your friend. Uh, but then you could roll a new character. Okay, okay. Can I throw it all the way into the sarcophagus in the room? Then? Ooh! Yeah. Four, five, six, it makes it into the sarcophagus and destroys it. One, two, three, it runs shy and hurts mostly him and a little bit. I swear to God, man. I don't think I've I've rolled once the four yeah, five. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we've had a bad time. I know it's a fifty percent chance, right. but it's really been leaning heavily right. yeah. one way with us. So the knight, uh, as what is it? He's he's uh, harmed and brought to sort of half his, you know. Strength by this. What does it look like? Because the like? bomb goes uh, off behind him. I imagine the explosion goes off and he stumbles forward a bit as chunks of his armor fly away and some of his bones, like quarter of his rib cage, oh, comes out. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, maybe a half of one of his arms or something. Nice. Can't, can't detach arms. I wish. Oh. <laughs> like you have to do uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe there's like, like a quarter section of a skull that comes up. It's yeah. gone, and now there's just smoke billowing oh, out yeah, of the top of him like a chimney. Stuff. You ready to sign that parchment now? <laughs> it three hits of damage to him. Uh, it destroys your bone cage. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're free, but it also showers you with shrapnel. Roll 1d6, 4, 5, 6, you take just one injury. One, two, three, you take two. Come on, you can do Come this. Come on, four, five, six. Don't make me feel bad. Yes! yes! 
All right, so these bones burst, and then a femur, you know, cracks in two, and part of it <laughs> jabs into you. So now you have a uh, uh, femur going through your shoulder. <laughs> you can write that wherever you want. <laughs> um, cool. That was fun. Uh, the giant <laughs> oh, goes to grab at you. Oh! Uh, what do you want to do, uh, or what are you going for here on the giant? My goal was to just slow my descent uh, with the beard and then the giant rubies on my face. It's just becoming a whole... It's just becoming a fiasco. Uh, the best I can come up with is that the free hand now has just the silver ascot, just kind of fishing lure, maybe, perchance. <laughs> Are you trying to get his attention? Yeah, well, I mean, not my face or body would be preferable to, like... I think I'm one injury away from death anyways, so I just... Trying to, like, posh matador this yeah. ogre? Yeah. All right, roll. Uh, he was blinded six. by a bomb for a second ago, right? Four, five, six, and he will not hit you. One, two, three, and he will slam you like a bug. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. The priest did it, I can do it too. Come on! Oh. One! <laughs> Oh, the air is knocked out of your lungs. You fall to the ground. Ruby hits you on the face, and you're just. I think I'm out, gang. But with the strength of ten men. With yeah. the strength, of, I don't know if that applies. Uh, oh yeah, you I had one injury, so that's advantage, uh, which in this system is not mechanical, but it is like uh, it's not as bad as you would think. Forget about the strength. All right. So you're knocked to the ground. The wind's knocked out of you, and you're stunned for a round. You have one more injury, so the strength of ten men gives you just. Another sort of, it's like, <laughs> and then above you, you're still there, stunned in with it. hand in hand. Uh, oh, I've let go of the skeletal hand at this point. The doctor's stunned. on his own. <laughs> the captain's done what she can for her crew. Um, she is now making. Uh, let's see. We need rest, food, and some kind of magic to heal. <laughs> yeah, so the captain has like curled up in her wine cloak. <laughs> All right, the crew is <laughs> on their own. <laughs> All right, come on, Davy. It's not that cold yet. I'm not going down to the salty deeps. And she is she's sipping up her wine cloak, <laughs> becoming drunker and maybe more glorious. And um, she is curled up in the corner with the fight going on around her. I'm hoping that's my rest, the wine cloak, the food. And as a necromantic chaplain of the sea, her prayer that, Davy Jones not drag her down from this high place and this, this high and warm place is not uh, not the death of her is um, what magic she can invoke. Beautiful. And I'm going to try for a um, not shrugging off the impaled. She's still got a chunk of wardrobe through her but shrugging off the blown up and to be able to shake herself sh shake it off of her and move again. Okay. Yeah, as this combat resolves if when it does then that will take effect. So just, right. that's the time part. Yep, that's where she's at for the rest of this combat. Just huddled in the corner, muttering to Davy Jones. Hmm. Giant man. I'm thinking about this guy now. <laughs> He's been blown back. The cage has been blown up. Uh, what do you do? You're a... He's in front of you. At the end of this hall is one of the skeletons. He's kind of like looking back and forth between you and him. His allegiances are are in the religion. Not the only skeleton left with the two bombs in here. Oh, that's the one I meant. Uh, sorry. Yep. So he's looking out there, looking at like you, and then the other. Where Where are you? Beyond. I'm like uh, right. Where in the hallway, maybe? Yeah. You're both like right by those doorways, and and I landed hallway. on top of the other skeleton. It's broken. Okay. Oh, so it's there's mess. another skeleton right there. Yeah. So are you standing or is he prone? He's prone on top of a destroyed skeleton right, right. next to you. This guy's like five feet back from you. And then further in the room is your old buddy with two bombs skeleton. Do I have time two bomb skeleton. to light one of the bombs, grab him in the room and throw the bomb out there and shut Ooh. the door? So you want to go? I have a lantern. I don't need to run to the fireplace. My lantern's still going. Yeah. Yep. You've got the fire source. This skeleton in the room is ambivalent, so you just run yeah. up. You're able to grab the bomb out of its hand, and it's like for maximum drama, you could dash the lantern against the skeleton, shove the skeleton, shove the skeleton into the room. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Virginia undead. 
<laughs> Hopefully he doesn't Stop. command him to just run back into us. Well, you know what? I'm going to throw him through before I light him on fire, because that way I won't yeah. burn myself. Nice. <laughs> and grab, try and him. grab him through the door. Nice. As soon as you, like, you throw the skeleton through and it bumps against the other skeleton, the other skeleton points a finger, and the skeleton, like, you know, starts to turn towards you. You dash it with fire, both the bombs go off, you slam the doors. <laughs> Right. Mildred! <laughs> I'm not going to be right in front Kamikaze of the Kamikaze skeleton. I feel like I'm realizing we probably could have just given him the goose and it would have been an easier story. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, oh, hello! That's what I said at the beginning. Yeah, no. <laughs> we chose glory. <laughs> there aren't any optimists here. Oh, nice move. Really cool. Not hot damn. Oh, thank God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep, you it was just... either that or my flood scroll or my snake. <laughs> I just had one shot. Do you guy. have any idea what the flood scroll does yet? No. <laughs> Me neither. I well, no, I had it at the beginning, so yeah. I should know, right? It causes a flood. Causes a flood. Just, a, just a flood. Okay, yeah. generally speaking. Any, cool. any metrics on that flood? <laughs> well, we're about to <laughs> find <laughs> out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> <for> that. <laughs> um, you... Yes. And you, you still now, I was stunned for I don't know how long a stun. That's stunned right. Were. So this will be the stun moment. Okay. I was going to you, but the, what you're doing is... <laughs> I just got smacked by a freaking giant and I didn't die. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Strength of ten men, men, yeah. Catching their breath. Yeah. The giant uh, looks down and I'm going to... One, two, three. It gets confused. Four, five, six. It tries to stomp you. It swats at the... Undead in its beard. Oh, vermin thieves! It seems that he can't really tell human-sized beings apart. <laughs> so then there's just a slap, oh, oh, his beard. Sorry, Smee. Does he knock any more jewels out? He does. That is genuinely part of my strategy. Oh, now it's raining giant jewels. Roll six. Don't do it. So out the beard. What shoots a or broken arrow shaft uh, uh, with a bit of uh, meat, run? like a big haunch on it. It looks like it was using it as a toothpick. <laughs> so that falls on. Uh, <laughs> not not a ruby. Uh, and what do you do? Um. Whew. Uh, how long am I going to be small? <laughs> One hour. Okay. Sure. Oh, wow. Am I, am I oh, as strange? Do I That's have the right. same amount of strength? Like, it doesn't affect me that way. Is he an Ant-Man type shrink? Or nah, it? I think I think you're probably a weaker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm working right. out which helps. Have, oh, yeah. Does it? Yeah. Does it make me stronger? Or is it just literally like a keep my back in place <laughs> sort of thing? It helps you lift things, I guess. Your leg it helps you lift things. You. Yeah. Not, right. not punch, but lift. Uh, I go into the room where the skeleton was. What's in there? Oh, in here. Yeah. Uh, the Burning night has edge. been, uh, yeah, it's all burnt. The glass, uh, the glass cases have all been broken open. The head is on the floor, <laughs> trying to drag itself forward using its jaw, <laughs> and the hand is laying there and kind of just writhing. You can see it has tattoos, like where rings would be on each of its fingers. Uh, it's writhing there, and then the uh, night is just disintegrating and sort of falling. And the smoke or the dust or ash that he's turning into is going into the sarcophagus. Uh, and then there are skeleton parts just stuck <laughs> in the ceiling walls. I grab the hand and I go, I wish I was a dragon. <laughs> Come on! That's where the shot is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I grab the head and I. And my nice black teeth like wiggle loosely. And my 10 foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I run uh, towards the balcony. All right, there you are with head on pole, and then the... Oh, what do I see out there? What does it look like right now? It's chaos. The giant uh, is looking Man. at the hand that has gore on it, and then he looks down at your buddy and lifts his leg. Can I do one more thing? Am I out of things? Can I shove the head in his ear with the pole? <laughs> yes. Uh... You can. <laughs> you shove it into his ear, and what is up with that head again? 
no. It's gnashing. <laughs> It'll burrow into his brain. <laughs> the, the, you put a head on top of your 10-foot pole and have a gnashing? That's straight up out of the labyrinth. <laughs> Do you remember those I oh, yeah. I've seen it little, once. little gnashing spears that they had yeah, going on? Yeah, they're not sure. Like, oh, oh, no, no, we're not going to say it. Yeah, it's a forgotten scene. I feel like when I just, it really stands out to me now. <laughs> the moment you see it, you have a time for all the gnashing. It's become labyrinth the role playing game. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a hit on the giant. has got three out of its 12 hits now. We're going to fight out this giant it call it you rocks. Down its aggro. It goes to either Bell or hit you. Even Bell. Ah, <gasps> it's going to go and try and grab you. Uh, roll four, five, six to dodge. Or one, Come two, on, three. Do I have advantage because I'm small instead of... <laughs> oh, yes! So, so that means... One, two, three. You can dodge out of the way whatever way you please. You can go on top of his hand. You can go back in the room. You can go right between his fingers. Uh, four, five, six. It will grab you but not hurt you, and you can immediately get out. But you'll be kind of with the, in the giant space. Well, sticking with what I know. There's nice. a lot. Uh, <laughs> this means I can do whatever. Yep. Uh, hmm. I run back inside. <laughs> <laughs> it says kept him distracted. Yeah. So like to be clear, the head is in his ear. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a stick coming out of his ear. He goes to plug it out. In a random direction, ten feet. Four. One, two, three, four. So it's like over here. Uh, and then in his ear, you see a giant scorpion tail come out and start sticking the side of his head. Whoa. <laughs> he says, oh, nice move with the head. Yeah, huh? nice. <laughs> yeah I planned that. <laughs> Distracted momentarily. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Back to you, uh, Dr. Hembler. <laughs> it's just, okay, just see this is giant. All right, colleague, you're clearly not an alchemist. <laughs> That's fine if you're an alchemist. <sighs> Name the tendon between the calf <laughs> and the ankle. <gasps> start rolling to draw a sword and see if he can find his mark. Come on. Name it! Name it, damn you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the creature has a choice between taking one of its precious 12 hits of life or just being hamstringed. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. Right. Sounds awful. <laughs> you have the strength to pay that. Oh, it's an advantage. Two. You do, advantage. <laughs> you do inflict a hit, but you don't uh, hamstring, is what I'm going to say. One, two, three is a hit. Four, five, six would be a hit plus the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like oh, 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 oh. 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 Well, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, I can't hear you over the <laughs> pounds his own ear, and you can see the chitin of the giant scorpion tail being busted up, and little bits of scorpion meat falling out of his ear. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's busy. Well done. <laughs> use the talking sword to do yeah, this. Yeah, use the talking sword. I have wounded Bonebreaker Tom. <laughs> no. We shall go down in history. No. Let's go. Give him what for. Try again. Don't make me drop you right now. <laughs> swear to God, I'll leave you here. Giant! Giant! <laughs> I will leave you in the backyard of this haunted house. <laughs> oh, he likes to get you. <laughs> Um, oh, so the dead skeleton, the dead knight's head transforms into a, a scorpion? Okay. The, head, the head is still oh, intact. Thank God it's not, it's not in the room with us. The head is still intact, but it left behind a scorpion. Oh, okay. Yes. The head's still intact. It poops scorpions. <laughs> like a, it was awful. It's just terrible. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Awful, terrible, and cool. Yeah, we all lose things. Back to you, you're still conscious, although impaled. Me? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I got the bone through my era. Yep, you uh, have just dispatched with uh, the armored knight, and you see uh, your friend J Jarg has gone into the room beyond and uh, has done this sort of maneuver with the head. Uh, and has now run back into here. Jorg, the mirror has been thrown onto its side, and 
as you run in at your height, it's just right, you can see reflected <laughs> into this room, which was the bedroom, uh, was the same guy from that portrait who had been getting dressed here, wearing the same clothes he got dressed in, uh, but now you see him leaning over the desk of his writing desk and writing mm -hmm. something. Can I peek and see what he's writing? He's writing the letter I just found. All right, I imagine that's it. Some, it is actually Maybe he threw the first draft away. Right the <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. At this point, uh, he's just putting the little wax seal on several letters in a row. Looks like he's actually written, now he's wrapping up a series of... Trying to knock on the... Oh, is it even my turn? <laughs> you knock on the mirror? <laughs> yeah. He looks up in the direction of the mirror and sort of just shakes his head and goes back to writing. <laughs> Let us in! <laughs> Hear me! And then he stands up and goes to leave this room without the bat door. Every time. Okay. Uh, and then to you. Oh, my turn. All right. Um, so. Oh, my ear has a scorpion in it! <laughs> I can see him, right? Yep. Through these broken windows. These are windows. The bat right? is limp on the floor as he's just holding it in one hand and itching at his ear. I have is a freaking blowgun. <laughs> um, I'll try and hit the giant with a blowgun, I guess. <laughs> Very nice. Four, five, six. Uh, it, cause, it it gets under his skin and causes some real damage. One, two, three. It just lands harmlessly. Four. Hey. Oh. 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 Hell yeah. It goes into his throat. <laughs> blowgun. <laughs> Scorpion in one ear. Blowgun. You had a bad day. You had a bad day. <laughs> And that's six hits, which is everybody's favorite. A morale roll. What's morale roll, you ask? Yes. My face this is 11 or 12. The giant will have had it. Oh. Four. <laughs> he bellows and turns toward the house. He lifts his leg up to stomp you into jelly. Uh, um, the strength of ten men and my sword and the overconfidence of my sword. So you've got advantage with your great strength. Let's say if he stops... Well, I've already taken a hit sword. of this before. Yes. He's going to hurt his foot on your sword either way. Uh, one, two, three, Sweet. you're also crushed to jelly. Uh, four, five, six, you're able to hurt him and avoid the hit. So my sword gets what it wants no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy ho villain! It says. I knew you'd be the death of me. <laughs> 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 Finally, that line holds. I didn't the death of me. The foot comes down a uh, foot into your sword before oh, pulling back oh, up. Oh, <laughs> it's holding onto its leg, bouncing around on one leg. More scorpion bits fall out of its <laughs> ear. <laughs> Joking. I hate this so much. <laughs> 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 Don't make her Tom wants his mom. <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> are, are we far enough along that Captain Dax may have oh, had a little bit? Don't bring her Tom. Like sip a some kid. wine and curl up in the corner and oh. get her wits back. Let's do a one, oh, four, five, six. The answer is yes. One, two, three. It's going to take a little Come bit. On, right. Come on, Captain. Come on, Captain. Come on, I need you. Come on. Great. Oh, Come on, Captain. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I, oh yeah, I have one. I have Still one, uh, drinking yourself. Come on, Squirt Captain. <laughs> You're gonna come up with so much courage. Um, there's some noise going on. So maybe something happens. No! Oh, he grabs the bell and boom, just whacks the side of uh of the manor. I don't think there's anybody up there in a place to be harmed, but you do hear <laughs> more voices. More ghosts come out. Screech. Oh, screech. oh boy. Um, the fire in the fireplace like roars up, and again on this bed, the form of a sleeping person mm. appears under the sheets. What is your deal? <laughs> I uh, go chew up some squirky and then bird baby bird mama bird feed it to the cat. <laughs> some squirky in his head? No, some of the, the like, uh, one squirrel jerky yeah. left. Very nice. Regain so, your strength, Captain. Princess Mononoke is still no, 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 I don't need it. I know, I've got plenty of mine. I've got plenty of mine. No, 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 it's good for you. I'll you need the squirrel. What the hell? Take this on tech back to the village, I, I already started this. <laughs> Just, I'm just the one with the bone sticking out of my shoulder. <laughs> 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 Anyone? 
That's this. All right, do a do a roll. Four, five, six, and <laughs> you, you pop back up. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> you get some big bird jerky. Oh, there's some mummy jerky in the next room. <laughs> It's so, just like me old captain used to make. <laughs> she no. looks out the window to the chaos of the giant stomping around <gasps> and, like, the t- tail of the ascot still hanging off the balcony. <laughs> and then heaves her grappling hook over the balcony. Doctor! Grab the rope! <laughs> nice. How do you respond, Doctor? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> is there any way you can reach me I mean I guess I have the jumping power of 10 minutes yeah I think you can make it uh, the jacket's pretty drained up um, you know what if there's any benefit to it I'll leave the sword behind <laughs> to trust is it, is it stuck in his foot any benefit at all it, he it was able to because you were holding on to it yeah, hold on the foot. you Completely magnificent behind. bastard you hold him off Thank you. <laughs> Come on, tiny bruiser. I've only got so much strength. Bring your time. Hold up the doctor. Nice. It's a fire. Excellent. You're able to get pulled up and in place. Uh, and then your go. The Thank you, giant doctor. sees all this and picks the bell up and begins to. <laughs> Can I get another shot in with my, yep. my blow gun? All right. <laughs> What's he got left? He roars <laughs> once again, opening up his weak throat. Right. That was a miss, right? A miss. So All it right. soars uh, and hits his cheek. <laughs> and then roll again to see if your ammo count goes down. Hey. Doing that right? Nice. So you missed, but you don't lose ammo. Right. Uh, hold! Damn you, hold! I yell back to the sword. <laughs> it's got... All three of you on the kind of balcony <laughs> right to choose from <laughs> for targets. And will it bell or grab? Odds, grab. Yes, the green one's for one, two, three. One. Uh, yeah. You're not out yet. Uh, roll your d6 to uh, evade the bell, which it just winds up and then throws straight at you. Oh. Hey! hey! You're able to roll out of the uh. way. <laughs> Terrible voices cry from the broken sigil, which you can see through the windows here. You can see stones oh. coming forth. Half mm-hmm. the pillars are gone. Oh. Thank you, Kevin! What, what happened to Thank the guy you. in the bed? The ghost in the bed, and anything can change. You can see him, he's just breathing. Oh, God. But it's just the, it's under the sheets, so you can't see the ghost itself. Now I was just wondering if the pillars made any difference uh, to the ghost in the bed. Good point. Uh, it yawns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the hall! We need to escape this Yo, ghost, this thunderous giant. giant. Find our traitorous shipmates from the Ooh. Golden Goose! <laughs> Alright. Oh, Yo, ghosts. <laughs> Ayo, it's your boy. <laughs> yeah. You are able to run everyone want to head this way or what way? Absolutely. Yeah. Get right. inward to the vans. This is like nearest go base. Back in here and grab the sword. In the night. It oh, too yeah. has mm-hmm. gassiest. Into the now, the night is totally gone, and the sarcophagus is full of swirling scorpions. The lid is like, <laughs> was like, here's the sarcophagus, and the lid's like leaning against it. Like, um, did you you search that room already? Not really. No, um, blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> we blew it up. Grab the head. Yeah. Should we should we search it? That's see if there's anything. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go in there and see cool. if there's anything. We'll see. Everyone went that way for safety sure. and searching. Oh! Mm. Mm. Mildred? <laughs> Come on, sword. Say something cocky. Where's the, yeah, where is Mildred? Where are those guys been? <laughs> I'll give you a Mildred. Down here, why don't you? Oh, I to collection. What? What's this? I asked for one thing today, and thank God I got it. <laughs> Yes, you have won this. You have won this adventure already. <laughs> uh, in there, the glass cases have been busted apart. There's that mummified hand, kind of twitching on the hand. Uh, you, as well, you, uh, as a wizard, recognize this is the fabled hand of Yid. Uh, oh. To a, a good magician or historian, it'd be worth two thousand gold pieces. 
Um, to someone yes. other than me, it'd be worth two thousand gold. Third, third cousin by marriage, of Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Somebody who knew what they were doing could make real good use of this. <laughs> That's not me, but I could do <laughs> you I know a guy. You see that on the lid of the sarcophagus, which has been slid uh, down, the whole thing is made of petrified ebony. Uh, half of it has been scorched by the explosion, but it's still intact. Oh, okay. uh, the lid has on its lid three rings of black wax. My question to everyone in this room. I have but a matter of moments. Is there anything of great strength you require? Yeah. <laughs> you put the lid back Yeah, on. put the lid back on. It weighs 500 pounds, so that'd be a good... You'd like me to put it back on? I don't like this black swirly stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, with the lid on top, you see those three wax wings are right in the middle uh, in like a triangle. There were three black candles here, evidently. Oh. It's the house... It's the house that's haunted, not the, the, the whole thing. You can finish it off. But uh, they're already all dead, uh, right? Just poking my rib back into place. Uh. Well, I know. As you as you finish sliding <laughs> the, lid, the lid on the sarcophagus, you see the bit swirling near the sort of head of it takes on a the shape of a skull as you slide it shut. Anybody know who Good. whom's that is? It's the knight. Who's, what is, what? I was thrown outside for a while. What happened? So the letter I found said, I'm putting this together. The wizard, who apparently his ghost is sleeping in the bed, uh, reanimated this very powerful knight to control him. And then he sent, he wrote a letter to his girlfriend to bring her over. But never mailed it. So. <laughs> so that's what this letter is. Oh, I, yeah, I saw the letter. What she, was her name? I can't remember. Lavinia. Lavinia. Wasn't she brought up earlier? Was she? In this portrait, and her music oh. was in this room. Yes, Lavinia. you have her music. You'd be the only one with any of these clues. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm horrible with names. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amnesiatic wizard. He's too bad with names. I can't remember her past, but I can remember the last 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, do you, are you yeah, so that's all I hand? figure. Uh, it's the what the, this? Yeah, it's worth a right. I got to write down <laughs> <laughs> the hand of Yid. Why do hand it? of Yid? Well, maybe if we found your third candle, we'll yes. be able to control the dead. I mean, we're all on the same team, right? We get an even take, or yeah, are we get a real personal about this? We should probably all put on <laughs> ascots <laughs> before the summoning, just to be sure. <laughs> there are some charred ascots left. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to gather some charred ascots to make sure everyone who wants one has a charred ascot. I really thought there's those no were just to be sure. There's no undamaged ascot? <laughs> The one that's like draped off the balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, scrap drawer was opened with a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, uh, you never know. It would have could have been one in the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, none are intact. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's some sort of boat room. I'm sure of, or a dock in the back, maybe. A what? A dock. A dock. Yes, yeah. Captain, you might that? have interest. Do you remember that painting with that person in a boat? Is there water around here? Well, we can make water. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if we don't find any. Just saying. Just going up. We still want two candles, two out of three candles to purify this. I don't know. <laughs> the head of the sarcophagus had three candles right. on it at one point, so it's my just assuming... They had these three black candles. But you have two. I have two. You do. I don't know where Simple arithmetic is. leaves us with one candle to find. <laughs> Is that? I'm a doctor of something, damn it. I don't know if that adds up. We, we just need to chop one candle in half, and that's three. We chop that's, enough lines, we have 30. I'm three. not a magician. I don't know how these things work. <laughs> I just know that it's evil, and it should be condemned. <laughs> I just know that it's evil. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> Painted me into a corner. I think there's one room we have left. <laughs> On the second floor, there is one room we have like half dead? Yeah, you've got your I'm injury half dead and you're half you've dead. You've got the impaled, your ribs also are half dead. Oh, sorry. You see that thought. Yeah, from full dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> or from like on the floor shivering. We're all out of squirrels. Do you have an injury? Yeah, you're I'm still, still in pain. Well, I'm, oh, I I'm blocked armor. out with the armor. Yeah. Oh, that's right. But you I am small. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we got to heal? We need infinite wine cloak. <laughs> <laughs> no. That you can see you? it is uh, it is it's flowing less. Uh, favorite food. Less richly, it seems to be wearing away over time. The strength of the flow. Oh no. So we need resting, <laughs> magic, and <laughs> resting and magic is good enough, right? Yep. All right. You have a magical heal. Suckle on the. Well, he's got the cloak. Can we suckle on the cloak? And <laughs> <laughs> magical food. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. If you just take a little bit to suckle on the cloak, you want to do that here? Sure. Nap. We have to. We have to so have a moment here. Of getting healed? Because we haven't stopped yet to respect the re the, the, the fully dead. Like, there's a lot of death. But we've lost me oh, again. Yep. And this time, even the magic of David Jones can't bring him back. So <laughs> we should say his um, post final rights. <laughs> well, yeah. that. So yeah. If you all take a moment, I would happily recount please, the deeds please. of Smee. Smee is my favorite. And this will not be repeated for posterity for the, the deeds of Smee were few. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say that Captain Dexter Bloon does them poetic justice. <laughs> Um, the way the way the bosun could <laughs> hand round a glass of someone else's ale <laughs> or show up late to his shift is recounted in heroic detail. <laughs> and um, Smee's memory is honored as best it could be. Beautiful. And this will maybe count for our rest. Everyone drinks. I take, I take the bone out too. Yep. You can remove that injury. Your. Uh, Broken that, ribs. Yep, that injury is. That's God. You, so you know, wine. <laughs> wine and rest, man. Yeah. Your ribs are still broken, but you you have two injuries as far as combat's concerned. You know, to you replenish. Right, I'd like to switch out Captain Dex's weapon. She's gonna leave her trident as a makeshift trying to smee here in this room, and oh. begin wielding the um the like um, bureau splinter. <laughs> that has impaled her previously. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> taking a, a note out of your the legs, yeah, but yes. I like it. Um, you all <laughs> remove the things that have impaled your bodies and uh, drink wine, and then the <laughs> lid <laughs> begins to move. Oh no! And you see the black, the black <laughs> So you have it back so its fingers are stuck in there. Somebody bang those fingers up! <laughs> we gotta get out of here! Like, and you got the table leg! Bang them! The fingers of the table leg! They go back in. So you're able to put the leg <laughs> back on, but it's, 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 it's pushing. So you I got any chains or glue yeah, or I something? Got a root. <laughs> glue. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone got a rope? Uh, yes. Oh, you still have the, you still have the brand hook. hook. I don't know if I can get it around the sarcophagus. But... It's like flat to the... It's yeah. Up to the floor, so you're so still strong. It's been, I, I, I ten minutes. Yep, yeah, so we're done. Time. Yeah, I think. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we're still small, and your cloak is still flowing. But the yeah. candles. We only got two. Find me a third candle. <laughs> uh, we gotta go find the third candle to stop the night from murdering us. Oh, two is better than none. <laughs> Uh, no, two is not. You, you, uh, your emperor, it's just nature. It makes it so this whole thing. Hell, you want to fight the skeleton? Your filthy bill trap, bring us a candle! <laughs> We're holding this thing down, saving all your skin to the salty depths. Bring uh, us a damn candle now! I'm sorry, just to be clear, did the skeleton attack you when you yes! were outside of this room? Hmm? Right. Oh, I wanted to. I was uh, blown <laughs> out of the building, so I literally don't know this answer. But I what, what else is in this room? Is there anything heavy? <laughs> the the cases, the glass cases on the wall, you could put on top. The lid <laughs> weighs five hundred pounds, and it's able to move that though. So oh. I don't think. I don't think some glass is going to do it. Uh, Sorry. Let's just hightail it out of it. You still that's, got that pole? He's got your 10 foot pole. He's got a 10 foot pole. You still got the pole? I can push a little bit, but I should be going in the next 10 or 15 minutes. Mm. All right. Let's give it. So let's either minutes. kill off Dex particularly or 
We're in conclusion. <laughs> All right. Better. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Do you still have your pole? No. Who had the pole? The giant. He did. Uh, <laughs> it has a head on it now. <laughs> right, uh, yes. We could have wedged that on on the ceiling. Oh. What we can do now <laughs> is leave this room out the one door we yeah, have to the, yeah, let's... and perhaps find that third damn candle. See if we can lock the doors at all. We're just going to leave this here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's was, we've been in this house for a long time and he didn't bother us until we came into the room. Three specific <laughs> magic candles right. equals ending this skeleton. Anything less than that just means pissing it off. So how about we just do the thing properly? Magic, despite what people might talk about, is precise. <laughs> Leave now! I don't know. I huh? shoved a head in an ear and a scorpion came out. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like magic, it sounds like. <laughs> that doesn't sound like magic to you. It sounds like you. <laughs> Do these doors have locks on them? No. I, I, yeah, I said we just run. Into <laughs> here? Get, close yeah. this door? Close that door. <laughs> Alright, this is the gallery. Try and barricade it. Uh, There's now, a to barricade it with. the fires and flames portrayed in here, like the burning city and the bonfire, are warm and, and moving in the oh, paintings. It's like one of those things you buy at the mall. I guess you took some of the paintings with you. I knew they I have lines. one. They I have the Black have Tower one. painting. Portrait of the Dark Forest illuminated by a bonfire. Ah, that, as you come into this room, it warms up. Oh. <laughs> Time for the flood. A gesture to a door that we haven't gone to. <laughs> this is a tower. Damn it! How did I not understand that? Stairs uh, go up and down here. It's kind of like this one was. Cobwebby. Uh, it can go up to the ceiling or down to the area beneath. Uh, you look down the stairs and you see on the bottom there are three coffin-sized and shaped stones built into the foundation down there. It does seem important. <laughs> At the bottom of the stairs? The yeah, bottom of the stairs. I bet like a floor below this. Here. Hmm. Is there a third floor or is there is just... A Going straight up it would let off, it's like a trap door into the roof. Okay. Well, it's... The lids crunches. Oh, we can hear it? The beast follows. Oh, no. Now he's got his arm back. Not to be or anything. Those look like three unopened coffins. We should probably check those out. Yeah, let's go to... <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay. What are we going to do? Make it worse? Make more skeletons come out? Couldn't happen. <laughs> so far, it's one out of four is a bad time. So These stairs lead down to coffin-shaped slabs of stone set into the floor. There were inscriptions on them, but they've been worn away by foot traffic. Not a good idea to inscribe them <laughs> on the floor. Um, foot traffic? Who's been walking through here? And then there are doors that lead that way and that way out of it. Is it to the door. coffins? Uh, it's the one on the right. <laughs> Check it. This is the weapons room. The walls oh. have weapons, very densely packed with weapons <laughs> and odd. And some are just like actually like the racks hold them pointing out of the wall. And some, mm. It's very artistic, and there's like five daggers fanned out of like a morning star poking out. Someone was having a lot of fun. <laughs> As you step in, <laughs> the floorboards creak very loudly. If you want to enter this room, you have to move slowly and take some time. Otherwise, you'll be heard. Uh, uh, virtually any non-magical weapon you can imagine is there. There's a case on the south wall full of dagger blades and spear tips, ancient, corroded, and flails on top of the case. Do you like any throwing nets? <laughs> what? Throwing nets? Oh, oh. nets. Yeah, I heard yes. throwing there is nets a net too. I was like, what is it's that? It's yeah. on top of the points of halberds and lances. So to get it off, you'd have to take a save and move very carefully. Or get poked. Uh, if you want to do it fast, you'd have to make a save. Otherwise, you could take careful time. Let's go in and close the door. I gotta find a sheath, anyways, in case I do run into that. <laughs> in, case, in case the sword survives that beard fiasco it's got going on. Look at me! You can hear from the distance. <laughs> you coward! Given the prevalence of me. skeletons, the captain will grab the biggest, legendary thing she can lay hands on. Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to grab a blunt weapon, too, I guess. All right. You have a great club. 
And there's also a... Uh, maces? Or... Yep, maces. Maces, okay. Uh, Y'all yeah, grab one that feels right. <laughs> <laughs> and try them out. Well, there's so, any with... There's a flail cases. on top of that glass case, too. What's the flail, dude? It's like a handle oh. with a chain and then a... Oh, okay. No, it'll like probably hit me in the yourself. Head. Yeah. <laughs> Carefully I like the, taking down and like the ads of that. Uh, your finest sheath. All carefully take time to move through, and without squeaking the floor too much, you get down a net. Nice. Does anything look magic in here? Um, careful look through the case with the de- corroded dagger blades and spear tips. Look like they would be uh, worth a lot of money to someone who collects antiquities, but those aren't magical. <laughs> room. Should we go check out what's in here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, quickly. The smell of... Oh. Yeah. The smell of uh, tobacco smoke wafts out of the room uh, heavily. The walls are red wallpaper. There are velvet red curtains mounted china plates on the wall. Very beautiful. Uh, there are four tall armchairs, the side tables, and there's a glass case uh, against the wall here that you came in, in which there are beautiful vases, uh, a dark oak cabinet on one wall, uh, has brandy and, uh, humidor, and, uh, it sounds like there are voices in the room, uh, discussing a topic. So, there aren't people, but voices are saying... No, I say, Elias was telling me he's questing a beast about, you know, the body of a... Uh, yes, yes, we all know what a questing beast is. Get on with it. Well, anyway, they've been hunting one, trying to get that delicious questing steak. You know. Have you heard if you made any progress on that? Yeah, they're tracking it, but, and so on and so forth. What is the meaning of this? This is the smoking room. <laughs> no, no, but I love Captain Jack's Jack's is going to don a smoking jacket off of a hook. I think I'm with the captain on this one. Yeah, we, we might get a little sidetracked here. <laughs> Who's talking? Load up her pockets yeah. with... No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> How do we control the night? Shake oh, a chair at random. <laughs> Hmm, the questing beast is not a creature to be trifled with. It's very tall. Keep your eyes up for it. Let's look for a black candle. <laughs> Smart. There's a humidor, 20 cigars, 50 gold, or five gold pieces each, decanters of brandy, an empty decanter, uh, if you want to take those. Um, but no. no Captain Dex will take the 20 cigars and decanters of brandy. <laughs> wait, wait. Nice. I need one of those. The evidently empty decanter is actually full of invisible something. Oh. Brandy by the smell of it. Oh, we're drinking that. The visible <laughs> brandy. You are Wait. very drunk and well, invisible. I was already very drunk. Whoa. And, well, and visible. It was invisible. already visibly drunk. Now it's very <laughs> drunk. <laughs> you have disappeared from existence and you are so drunk. Except for when you're oh, running yeah. into everything. <laughs> yeah, you're also going to be invisibly jostled into a while now. Uh-oh. There is there is um, a, a cloud of cigar smoke issuing from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> there is sailors curses I wanna, following it. I want to have a what looks like a giant cigar because I'm small. <laughs> <laughs> so you spend some time having fun in the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We need a break. <laughs> no black that was so, oh, so horrific. What you tell us? Yeah, what happened to dear old Melbin? You know, he was a strong chap. Ah, Melbin joined me up the God River to capture the divine crocodile. Dead, you say. Most, <laughs> most of the hirelings were eaten. Most regrettable. <laughs> ah, but I have the crocodile in my trophy room. <laughs> From somewhere amidst the um, cloud of cigar smoke drifting on the other side of the room, you hear, Ah, oh, where behind is this room? Let's find a candle. <laughs> Yes, I like good it. show, everyone. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the fireplace in this room is a uh, blazing. There are three skeletal servants, uh, skeletal servants, and they are rearranging the furniture in here. There's a sofa and two armchairs, and they are putting them around the now burning fireplace. It's a skeleton crew. I thought you all was blown to cannon smithers. <laughs> uh, How did you get back here? <laughs> What you even doing here? I thought y'all had gone to the deeps. I'm a skeleton crew. 
they're wearing long scarves and armed with mops. <laughs> okay. They look towards the billowing smoke, uh, and then just shrug their scapulae and continue to move <laughs> things around. Uh, there is a side table with a little drawer and a candelabra on it, uh, which a holds candelabra. a single black there candle. Ah, all right. Skip Schwab and your filthy bilge rats. That's a thing. That's a Wait, thing it's a, we it's find. A, it's a candelabra? Does it have three? St- it has five arms, but only one has a candle in it, okay. and it's the black can- a black candle. She said the a three was. Well, whatever. I'll put those. There's two oh, more? Oh, there are two candles in there. <laughs> All we need to do is distract the creature. The knight, you said? Yeah. Okay, we distract him long enough for you to... Who's we distracting? There's something we're supposed to me. do with this candle. Captain, we can't see you. <laughs> well, over here, over here. It's... Captain, you're the necromancer. Smoke is blown into the sun out of the air. <laughs> yes, I know the dents. I know all about the deeps and the dead. We need three I'll look candles. For some coffee. Three candles, <laughs> yes, yes. Where are the candles for the dead? In the drawer of the of the side table is a snuff box. Uh, no coffee though. <laughs> Yeah, have a little snuff there. Yeah, I just kept it. Schwass! Relaxing! Hold on! Hold on, we might be here a minute. <laughs> this says, this says, this wasn't good earlier. Where's the lock thing? <laughs> well, he's, while she's figuring that out, I open up this door and keep <laughs> Someone said there's a lock thing. Oh, the new door. Oh, skeleton crew, where's this? Could stop you swapping. Point me at the lock thing. I'm gonna get it. There's nothing bending this time. I'm gonna get it. With harpsichord. That, uh, uh, yeah, there's pale green floor wallpaper peeling and filthy the north wall is, like, coated in black mold. It's, like, caving in on itself. There's a periwinkle couch moth eaten, dusty armchairs, three of them. A dilapidated harp- harpsichord. Its lid is closed. Um, that's what, that's what's in here. Music room. Okay, on, on a sidetrack sort of thing, you could try playing that. It's music. Harpsichord. code? Yeah. What music can they make? Can I interpret, uh, transcribe a piano tune into a harpsichord? Definitely. I know how to play harpsichord. As an organist, I think so. Oh, yeah. It's got their keys. Same keyboard. I believe. You we all believe. I thought I was I was thinking of a harp. <laughs> yeah, harp score is like a harp piano. Oh, okay. You push the keys and it plucks the harp strings. Lavinia Coldwater's <laughs> ghost appears oh. beside you and plays along a nice. uh, uh, little tune. And then she seems sort of lost in her reverie before coming uh-huh. out and saying, A fellow musician. Why, yes, I have your sheet music right here. <laughs> This wouldn't by chance happen to control evil undead knights. <laughs> you? <laughs> You're talking about the death knight of the twelfth sarcophagus, the knights told me all about that. And then three black candles on the lid. <laughs> we are no problem. <laughs> Someone put three black candles on the lid. He's I'm running. sure that was Anonymous. Where is he? Um, Why I am th- I transparent? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to break this to you, but... You could always check the smoking room, dear. Oh, of course, thank you. Oh, you must be a member of the Black Moon Society. She holds out her hand. It's very cold. Just gonna, just gonna uh, make sure I match her movements in case it is ethereal. <laughs> From the smoking room. This chair should have a lock hole in it. Where's the lock thing? Someone's had the invisible brandy. She goes <laughs> the smoking room. How do we stop this? Uh, someone has resurrected the 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 death knight oh just have elias stop it that thing will roll over if elias isn't it. around what i don't know where he is but Why this thing's after us and we need to stop it you put the candles on top of the lid that's and that's it said. it should do yes it'll stop the guy i'm not a magician elias is i'm a musician me <laughs> too <laughs> your exorcism just your exorcism i found it i found it Oh, boy. Oh, watch this. It'll only take a second. Oh, no. And you hear the sound of, like, rapidly fumbling lockpicks. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Last time she said that, I was... I think I heard a room explode. 
the snuff box opens, there is blue snuff inside. Yep, we're doing that. <laughs> we're full blue invisibility. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So uh, assuming assuming the Captain Dex can find her nose, we are doing that. That's Elias from the picture. That's hey. Lavinia. And Dex, you and you alone, after taking the snuff, see Horatio, who appears to you. Uh, <laughs> Back to the rotting world of the living again. <laughs> what would you like? I am at your service. Uh, s- uh, sort of. Um, well, my, my skeleton crew is adoring me, and yes, they lost me. Who are you? I am Horatio at your service, of course. Mistress oh, there's, of the there's something <laughs> we need service with. Uh, oh, wait, we're all in luck then. To stop the death line. Do you know how to dance? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I ever? Goodness. Lady Lavinia. Uh, Horatio. Play that song. Not that song. Yes. <laughs> play it. She goes and starts to play a, rav- a ravishing tango, and Horatio goes to dance with the captain. <laughs> All right. Um, Every so often, I'll just hit a last key to screw so, up. So no one else, no one else can see a ratio except me, and no one can see the captain. <laughs> yep. So well, it's only Lavinia watching Horatio yeah. dance, and everyone else is. Good show, Lavinia. Good show, Horatio. Says Lavinia to no one in particular. <laughs> a billowing so cloud of exciting. smoke, perhaps, is all you can see. There's <laughs> a billowing cloud of smoke moving around the room, and an occasional. <gasps> Oh, Horatio, you're such a charmer. <laughs> I haven't danced like this since Portugal. And then the song concludes and Horatio says, Thank the gods and disappears. <laughs> Lavinia says, Help, advanced god. What are you doing now, dear? Advanced <laughs> god. Oh, no. Um, there's got to be a secret room right there, huh? Mm-hmm. There's no doorways leading into this area here? No doorways, no. Alright. What else was in here? Anything? Um, there's, uh, the furniture, which now the skeletons from here have come in and are rearranging the furniture and playing musical chairs to music. There's the harpsichord. This where all is rotten and, uh, full of black mold. Looks like Mm. you can bust through the wall. Yeah. Should we bust through the wall? Skeleton chew. Kick in the wall. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the skeletons do not. <laughs> they have not been convinced. No, they can't even see her. I poke the wall with the table leg. <laughs> of course you do. I'm the mason. Within yeah. is a room caked with Magic. fungus. No. Uh, you grab that there, fungus you should book. grab the book. <laughs> oh, that's fungus right. Book. It's pitch dark, except now some light comes in. It seems to be resisted by the darkness. A fountain in the center of the room is... Uh, Flowing with water that reflects a moon. No, there's, there's no moon. ceiling. But I am a wizard. What? Light staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. You can see clearly the various colors and shapes of all kinds of a profusion of uh, funguses here. Uh, some of them pop up to get the light in it seeming in reaction to your presence. They are actually proliferating at a wild speed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and at this point I am afraid I must bow out. So totally yeah. fair. Marvel commitments. Totally fair. Yeah, yeah. Meet. This has been really flattering. And I hope to play with you all again sometime soon. We can leave um, Captain Dex drifting in the cloud of the (laughs) Drunkenly wandering off on her own, perhaps. Yeah, to join the ghosts. You're in the fungus room. Right, the fungus room, which is getting worse because of the light. Is that what I was getting? A few, a few popped into being because of the light, but they seem to be, they seem to have, as soon as the light fell onto them, they were already, like, growing. I saw all the Aliens movies with Skye. Yeah, it could just be, like, right endless food. Yeah. Is it any... Is <laughs> just are pumping up spores or anything? Nothing's... Yeah, no spores. Are any of them whispering foul things? <laughs> you lean in <laughs> uh, here. No whispers. Okay, <laughs> we in androids. I'm out of here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Alright, there's another... The 
Yeah. Lavinia goes back to the harpsichord and plays yeah, sadly with one hand. Because I don't feel like that. Sweet. I already broke the left. Oh, damn it. Lady, what's up the fungus room? She likes to the wall. You broke in the wall. It's to the to the music room. It was crumbling. It was all messed up. Then. The music room. We found it like that. She yeah. gestures to her harpsichord room. Yeah, we found it. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was that way when we got here. She. <laughs> She looks at the uh, I'm sorry, man. Moment. We broke the wall. She says, <laughs> oh, she I should realize we would remake that wall with a little wave of the swan. She goes in and investigates this, uh, looks into the pool. Oh, it is a lovely reflection, though. Is I do love pool, magic. Is there a pool in there? It's yeah, like there's a there's well a with a pool, yeah. On reflecting the moon, even though so there is no moon. The fungus on the ceiling, the wall, and the floor, but in the middle is this pool reflection. All right, I definitely gotta go look at that. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Uh, you're a magic user, right? I'm gonna walk into it. Yeah, I got the mm-hmm. light mat. I got the light staff and everything. Mm-hmm. See if you can figure out what the pool is. Yeah, walking into it. Yeah. Well, I'll figure it out. It's nice and cool. It's a cool pool. Oh, you're side. actually gonna bathe in there. Okay. Well, yeah, as far as like the robes <laughs> and the yeah, light go up. There. <laughs> You never know that wand is still missing. Is this, true? Is this how you figure out magic? <laughs> Even though it's, it's like more art than science. science. <laughs> Coming from a guy who's been talking about nothing but science. <laughs> <laughs> I think I thought, what happened to the precision thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, the sword's gone. I don't have to brag anymore. <laughs> the sword's gone when I suggested two candles. <laughs> foot hurts. <laughs> Blood squirts! <laughs> uh, a rhymer, isn't it? <laughs> down at the giant and a bit it hurts, doesn't it? Quite a gash, isn't it? Hmm? That's right. Have some more. <laughs> Muffled from within his beard. <laughs> um, the pool appears to have a, some magical quality to it, but you can't tell what exactly it does. What happens Just when you go it. underwater? <laughs> Do you have duck feet when you leave the pool? <laughs> <laughs> we have to know! <laughs> if we must know, then everyone should probably vacate the area. Go ahead uh, and pull watch. out a sloppy <laughs> scroll of flooding. Oh, Done! Oh, you have a scroll of flooding, too? Yeah. That's why I'm willing to risk it on this. <laughs> Gone! All right. Get out of here! Yeah, uh, you don't want to get yourselves hurt, do you? Back out. <laughs> I go stand on the harpsichord. <laughs> nice! <laughs> And I'll read the scroll of flooding about. Let's see what this Hocus Pocus magic flood. Water, 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 mud. <laughs> 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 the water rises up and more water just comes out of the walls from your magic spell. And the whole room is filled with water that then floods out into the nearby rooms. You hear the fire here extinguished. This water. Uh, floods. You are carried away along with a bunch of fungi you can see are knocked off the wall and are floating by and be- beyond you. Uh, there's a one that looks like uh, dewdrops. There's just like a bunch of dewdrop shaped uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms, yeah. And they kind of have a floral smell. You can smell on top of the waves. Okay. You get washed in the other room, the harpsichord rises up and goes against the windows. <laughs> Lavinia. Oh, oh, magic! Is so fun. It is fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> she moves, but she just moves through you. <laughs> what? You're a ghost. Her <laughs> fit's so delicate about it. <laughs> I don't like this sense of humor. I'm going to talk to Elias. Oh, okay, bye. Four! Four shells with Elias's! <laughs> Up here. I'm not kidding, let's go! She makes her way back to the bedroom. Sopping <laughs> wet rope. Come on, we gotta go! There was, there was a bus that had blown us When you were under the water, even though it was like dark in that room, you could see really well. So it does have some magical quality of. Uh. Yeah. Can you see in the dark now? No, I'm pretty... <laughs> Turn on the light. I don't think so. 
Oh yeah, that was a bust. Let's get out of here. The pool still has water. I mean, I think it requires other components that, again, it's more of a science than an art, so I don't know why. At least we've got some cold mushroom stew now. Don't Lavinia heads to here, goes into Elias's bedroom, throws off the blanket, Elias, and there's no person there. And she just falls to fits of shrieking. Oh! Oh! I am dead! We're all dead! No, we're, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. It gives you a sour look. We should probably do the candle thing. Yeah. Where do we do this? <laughs> do we hear the night coming by? Any? Um, you listen. You hear some creaking in a distant room. Oh shit, sure he's, in the, he's in the weapon room. It gives us time, we can close oh, the yeah, door. That's the, yeah. <laughs> uh, was the, that wasn't a door there. In the that was room. a door that you haven't opened yet. To the room that's below this gallery. Oh, too late to lock that. I don't know, should we just go upstairs or we want to try and lock him in? Where are You're uh, here now. We're here. Because you followed Lavinia. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, we... to see, uh, she wanted to see Elias' bedroom. She found the thing that looked like a body in his bed, threw it off, found a body and freaked out. The weird king sounds coming from downstairs? Yes. Oh, it's perfect. We have He's a chance. Room. All right, let's can close we put, it. Can we put the hook, the lid back on? You go, that door has been closed. You go, open it, and peek inside. And Why? Why does something? <laughs> Why does this thing always have to be haunted? <laughs> uh, you open the door and go in, and then six-inch fang-like spikes protrude from each of the walls in the room. Oh, like a like a trap thing? Like the walls are closing in? Yeah. Is there only six inches? Yeah. And the door yeah, the on the other side of the room is closed? And now it's a spiky wall room. Just don't... Uh, the door on the other side of the room is closed. Excellent. Let's all uh, put this lid on here. Yeah. Let's try and put the lid back on the sarcophagus. Right. I was still a very strong. small orc. I'm not super I'm not strong. an orc! <laughs> Sorry, you, you, uh, you, uh, what do you do? I don't know. I never asked that question. What was your name? <laughs> My name was Jorg. Jorg the... Or the leg. Oh, the leg. Jorg the leg. Alright. Alright. Are we all human? Well, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's you, me, and the baby boy over here. Put that coffin back. <laughs> Let's argue. You wait till I grow up again. <laughs> I'm sure. Could two men and the child lift a 500 pound lid? I have no idea. Well, and one man could if you were strong enough. Yeah. An older man. Yeah, one person on each side, yeah. yeah. And then the little guy in the middle of my uh, Yeah. <laughs> Slide it in place. <laughs> Grinding of the lid. And sound throughout the place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put the candles where the uh, where they exactly where they were on top of the sarcophagus. I'm gonna go check and see if the door is locked. If it's not, I'm gonna put the shovel between. <laughs> trying to try and jam it with the shovel. Nice. Well, on the net, jam ready. the shovel so that it's like a wedge. Yeah. Do you light the candles? Uh. Yeah, I guess. What do you guys think? You're the magician. I, don't know. I mean, I may be a magician, but you're the one who, who talked about <laughs> the, the idea. <laughs> yeah, what was it called? Uh, an exorcism? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm happy to assist in whatever way you want. Uh, yeah, will an exorcism work on this guy? I appreciate the faith you have in me after that bust of a room downstairs. I don't know. Just light the candles. I, I like the candles. Yeah, I just light the candles. <laughs> I might have a doctorate in theology. I don't know yet. <laughs> Our souls are penetrated by a cool sensation uh, of utter neutrality. Does he have to be in the thing? <laughs> the squeaking continues below. Did they kill it again? I don't know. Uh, let's not overthink it. Just, uh, have we completed the ritual yet? We just lit the candles. I'll try okay, and, I'll but try rituals and, are usually longer I'll, than I'll try, try, the candle. I mean, I'll try and do an exorcist. <laughs> please, please. All right. Just the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever my gods are compelled you. <laughs> some of the, take some of the wet robe and wring it out and bless it. Bless it, yeah. Um, exorcism has no special effect beyond the lighting of the candles. Lavinia, uh, 
looks out and is leaning against the door, but half like going through because she's in, uh, and says, that usually does the trick. Keeps him in there, you know, the brute. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps him yeah. in there. Yeah. 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 Put it back in. <laughs> How about we lure him up here, throw the net on him, and then we stuff him in there real quick and do the so lighting. Kind of the thing up there. Kind of well, you know. <laughs> we can do that. Hi, Allie. Hey, Allie. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi, yeah. Matt. I don't think I've met you. Hi, Matt. I'm still Hi. Nice to meet you, too. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, uh, what even? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's delicious way for the guy to come back. The floor, <laughs> the floor, continues to hear twitch. me out. The floor's probably weakened from the explosions, right? Mm -hmm. And all that soggy water. You can drop Ooh. the sarcophagus through the floor onto the skeleton. Ah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd like weakened, to do the... It does appear to be weakened from the explosions. These scorch marks you can see through to the floor in one place where a floorboard has been done through, or at least the section in between, not uh, straight through the room before. But how would you weaken it further? Uh, shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Unchain the door with the shovel, yes. Uh, <coughs> else, also the shovel. Mace? No. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy to do the math behind it, see if, see if it all adds up. It might even crush the skeleton. <laughs> we do it, right? <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter if, it's, if it crushes him, he'll just go back in. The room. Well, but yeah, then we can close it up and seal it. I feel like we'd get three candles out of him and we just crush him straight up, to be honest with you. It sounds pretty, pretty useful candles, to be honest. <laughs> Last time we killed him, he just reformed in the coffin. My goose is on the loose! <laughs> It's with this guy. <laughs> He's really on a roll. <laughs> Wait, can't we control him? Like I, asked the, I asked the ghost lady. Hmm? Can we control him with these candles? Oh, no. Only lies. Control him. Well, what did he do to control him? I suppose he's dead now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come with me, lady. And I go to the mirror Come in the with room. Me, very oh. nice. I knock on the mirror. Elias! Elias! Whoa. Your lady is in waiting. Roll, so, I don't know what that means. That's, <laughs> very nice. That's not what that means. Uh oh. Why not? Mm -hmm. That's his sister. That's not what you say. Oh, is this his sister? 84. Four. Perhaps I'm wrong. There is no one in the reflection except for you. So it isn't doing its magic thing at the moment. It doesn't appear to be present for me at this time. Try the Grab ascot. The <laughs> Grab the mirror and bring it in this one. I need help. Right. <laughs> You're able I'll, to. I'll what? You're like three feet tall. Oh, it's gold gilt and eight by five, so two oh, people okay. makes sense. You take it into here. You take it through here. You're kind of looking to see the reflection. Remember, he was here for a minute. Yeah. You don't see him. You go in here. No, you don't see him. You go to here. You don't see him. Uh, I'm just gonna inspect this spiked wall. What's, what's, what's all this now? It's, it hasn't shrunk in on us, it hasn't done anything. Those bones of spikes on the wall. You can see one of the mummified like fingers that was on a little a little steeple on a uh, counter has been skewered through by the spikes. Mm -hmm. What's the point of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mind the spikes when you're in this room. <laughs> I, I just suppose. It seems like more of a grappler's room than it is a entrapment room. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to decorate my home like this. <laughs> what are you? What Whose man you? are you? I'm a child man. I'm a child man. <laughs> Clearly, just look at me. I am the leg. <laughs> I'm at a, I don't have a loss. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this was Elias, is me. We should yeah. bring it back to the dressing room. She goes through the mirror. Right. It just comes out the other side. <laughs> He's in here sometimes. She hangs out the, in the mirror. So I knock on the mirror. You hear a distant voice from, coming from the mirror. Over there. Something in the museum. 
Knock, knock, knock. This is some mist nonsense. Walking on heaven's door. Lie <laughs> down in there, knight. Where's the mirror? Elias. Now? Keep knocking. You brought it in this room. Elias! Did you put it Elias! Muffy yeah. Uh I'm assuming you just left it by the door right here. Does it? I keep knocking. Okay. You still make noise, yeah. What if we moved it behind the sarcophagus? I'll go get the knight. I'll get him I'll get him back up here. Uh, wait, 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 what? Sure. What? If we put the sarco- if we put the, the mirror behind the sarcophagus, everything seems right for well, because it, it shows our reflections, yes? Mm-hmm. Chances are it'll approach the other intruder. You know, assuming everyone's <laughs> hidden. And what's what's the worst that'll happen? We're His master will show up? I, uh, I like it. It'll take me just a moment. I take out the shovel. Yeah, no, hurry up. Go quick. Uh, Set up the mirror so that the skeleton bring out sees part it. Part of my robe and get running. Nice. Uh, facing this doorway or that? Yeah, where are you going to lead it up? I'll be leading it up from here. Okay, so is facing the north. The but north with the sarcophagus right. yes, in front of it. Yes, it so it's specifically needs to be behind the sarcophagus. Yeah. Whatever. Where is the sarcophagus? sarcophagus right in the right middle. middle. Yeah, so huh. behind the yeah, so okay. 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 I keep knocking. Come along now. Got my lit up staff as I go down the stairs. Hello. Hello. He seems to have muffled you on his side. Hello. <laughs> Noble knight who's been desecrated in his afterlife. Hello. Oh, there's a giant out here. Yes. <laughs> Lavinia. <laughs> oh. I gets the side of this. Wait. You brute, she says. Scare him. Giant should be scared of ghosts. <laughs> there was a ghost. Another crown, oh, man. <laughs> this goose is about to be crushed. She runs out. Goose. <laughs> She says. She joins you in the spiky museum oh, rooms. <laughs> Can you go inside of the mirror? She goes through it again, but just comes out the other side. Right. Are you sure you saw Elias? In here? What was he doing? I think I don't know what he looks like. Do I know what he looks like? He always has luxurious black beard. He dresses in the most beautiful ascots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the yeah, mirror. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you wait? We could hear him saying something about the... Uh, from the mirror. Did she yeah. not hear that? But it just goes through. Mm. Light! <laughs> she just falls onto the floor and he yeah. sobs. <laughs> Alright, All right. well, this might go terribly wrong. Come on! Alright, and you are at this door? Yes, I'd be going down the stairs as far as I knew. Was where he was, yeah, where we, he was coming from? I assumed he was in the, the weapons room. From yeah, the yeah, lower level. Uh, Hello? You hear Desecrated the door night. fly open, and then creak, 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 creak. Someone's coming from the weapons room. Are you up here on the second floor or down yeah, here? Yeah, if I, if I can stay uh, running length away, that'd be appreciated. That's, that's my goal. All right. The only question is, so we'll find out if we. You're about to find out if there's a movement speed. A what? He comes through the bottom uh, and looks up. Hello! He looks behind him, snaps his bone fingers, points up, and two skeletal servants. Uh, one with a spear from the wall of the room below, oh, and one with a battle axe. And they come up, one has a pot on its head for a helmet, and they chase him, and then he slowly comes up behind them. Now, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Uh, there's more than the one! Of knights? It's uh, just... Uh, on my on my count, come, poke your head out the door. Otherwise, shush. <laughs> All right. And I'll run down the hallway instead. Going down this way? Yeah, I'm gonna try and draw off the two skeletons. Nice. All right. Uh, I'll count ske- loudly. A long way around. All right. The skeletons Three, follow you. Two. Peek out the door. Once they're once they're well past. One me. throws a butcher knife. <laughs> uh, four, five, six to dodge. One, two, three. It hits you. Uh, four. Nice. Nice. It lands in the door to the hallway here. <laughs> and I really want to wait until they're out of, uh, 
like, you know, visible eyes. Well, they're, you know, past the door, so, like, if the knight, once they're past the door the and clunk. the knight's there, yeah. Clunk of the knight coming up behind them. Where do you want to lead them? Hallway or... Yeah, if I can lead, Yeah, I'm leading them out the hallway. Yes. All right. You're able to do that. Uh, no! Shut your huh? face now! Well, I guess, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll open the door and try and taunt the knight in. He, uh, you, see, you see him coming just like kitty corner through here, and he sees your head and points at you. I run. <laughs> Bones pop out of the floor. Uh, one, two, three, you're in a bone cage. Four, five, six, you evade the bone cage. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Now there's a bone case <laughs> in the way, but you're able to get back in the new uh, museum. Ah, loser. What do you do in preparation? So there's, you two are in the room, there's the mirror and the sarcophagus. Where do you want to arrange yourselves? I hide behind the mirror and ready the net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hide behind the mirror too. All right, so it'll look in and basically just see a reflection of itself. All right, she melts its mind. <laughs> it's like when you ask a robot to do something paradoxical. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the skeletons round the corner here uh, and run towards you. <laughs> and the two of them join together into a creepy human, awesome. like half the pelvis, yeah. and, and like, no. And then just the one torso comes up with the reigning uh, spear, and it goes to spear you. Uh, Four, five, six, you can dodge the spear, or one, two, three, you get right. speared. If I, I may, if I dodge this, I'll get a little bit more cocky about what I'm doing. A six! Nice! I get cocky about what I'm doing now, <laughs> after dodging that. You will find you have a new master now, and I pull out the hand of Yid, and I pull on my light staff, <laughs> and I do my very best to try and pretend I'm a necromancer. <laughs> or at least assume I have a doctorate in it. Yeah. I'm a doctor in a necromancy, <laughs> perhaps? You can just continue to fill <laughs> Shit! I'm an heavy check. I don't know what I'm gonna have. You have a new mess. Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the creature comes into the room and sees the mirror. <laughs> just gets sort of <laughs> cocks its head. Sees Lavinia Clearwater, like crumpled in the floor in the distance within uh -huh. view. <laughs> and it looks back. <laughs> and then she looks back and then just goes back to crying. Um, Wait, Lavinia, can you possess the skeleton? <laughs> sign this form. <laughs> Make it sign this. <laughs> <laughs> I would not do something so base, she says. Besides, uh, it doesn't even have a soul. I can't possess it. How do you, how do you know that? <laughs> you never know until you try. Her <laughs> eyes wide when she looks from side to side. I didn't even know it was a ghost. She goes down to the floor. We need you. <laughs> she pokes her head back up. Why do you need me? <laughs> I need you to get. What's his face? Why his attention. Why not somebody yeah. else? Get, he get loves dramatic. You. You're the only Why one here, dramatic. and you like music. Like I do. Yeah, that music. That's what she's, she slowly <laughs> rises to the floor again. The skeleton gets bored of this. And turns wait, to go. Wait, wait. Damn it. I throw up my desk leg at it. I just <laughs> quick poke out and throw it back. <laughs> Roll. Uh, since you're going so quick, we'll say disadvantage. Um, four, five, six, it hits it. One, two, three, it just it gets its attention, but doesn't hurt it. Five. Nice. Yes. So you knock its head off, like, onto its shoulder, uh, and you can see some of its vertebrae are cracked and let out smoke, and it writes its head and goes into the room. How's um, your chance? The vehicle, we need you. Oh. Ah! She goes towards it and, like, tries to go into it, but she's literally just, like, overlapped with him, and she can't, like, possess him. It's yeah. its vision. <laughs> See now, <laughs> the creature just sort of ignores, and his vision doesn't appear. If his, if his eyes are where his eye sockets are, probably his vision's obscured. But he's looking around. If a skeleton's eyes could roll, <laughs> he goes towards the mirror and raises the sword as if to destroy it. I'll oh, jump out of the way. <laughs> I do too. I have the net ready to throw on him if he nice. carries through. The sarcophagus. <laughs> 
She breaks the magic mirror, it falls, and the net is on top of it. So now he is netted. Push! Push him into the thing! Maybe he tries to push, but her arms just go through. Yeah, we try and uh, push him into the sarcophagus. He lands oh, yeah. in the sarcophagus. Oh, lid, lid the sarcophagus. But his, his sword like, flails wildly, uh, so both of you roll a d6. One, two, three, you get six. Oh, I got sliced. Six. Yeah. Right, you got a big sword cut out. Ah. But you were able to dodge it, and you are able to lift the lid and move it into place, but not before, of course, it does one more, like, arm reaching up type no. motion, and what? Uh, it snaps its fingers, and oh, the, no. the walls burst, <laughs> oh, the bones no. come out and form oh, themselves dear. into two uh, skeletal servants. Doc! <laughs> You're able to close the sarcophagus, but then the skeletal servants come, one up to each of you, and they're using the wall spikes as weapons oh, to God. try and jab at you. Um, they have nunchaku help! Oh, you, can, you can get the drop on them if you want to attack first. Yes, I do. I want that. <laughs> yeah. um, it's melee if you're using melee weapons, so same difference. Five, five, six, six, seven, one, two, three, they hit you. My old trusty table leg. You guys got this, come on. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it, table leg. <laughs> <laughs> you no. the ground. It takes the other one and moves towards you. What did you I get? Two. <laughs> nice. The one you're fighting also <laughs> you chance you they seem to go for the match. A lot of impaling in this adventure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, and the man. lid begins to move. Oh shit. No. You fall no. down. <laughs> uh, Is that your st- are you dead? Oh yeah, I was, yeah, I had twenty. You're out of the action, so you're yeah, it's not looking good. You're not totally dead. Um <laughs> not doing great. Doctor. Come on, you got, that, you got that weird God. centaur on you. What do you do? Oh, God, I get. <laughs> oh, well, I can't make it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, oh, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the hand definitely doesn't do anything with the scenario. All right, neat. Good to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was, it's really uh, hoping, just kind of back, back burner hoping. Oh. As you hold it up, you see once again that each of its fingers has a tattoo where it would wear a ring. Oh, damn it! <laughs> of course, magic is a science, not an art. <laughs> I should have known! I should have known! And I'll run towards the window. What's this the giant's ring? name? Who has the, the, the ring? Tom. Bonebreaker Tom. Had the ring? Tom! What? I What's your ring? Yeah, ring. Yeah, the ring of, popu- of popularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom, the giant, looks at you after hitting the side of the spell, and he was looking at each window. Mildy, come to me. Mildy. Mm-hmm. He looks up. A villain! I have bones to break. And a mildy to reward you with. <laughs> try and try and catch myself in the windowsill, but that's it's eh, a side based thing. The to... bell goes in. You're able to dodge if, if you're just oh, trying to get his attention to dodge. The bell goes through. Not <laughs> <laughs> her babies here. Oh, nice. oh, nice. Please die, centaur freak. And Sorry. you are in. Uh, the the skeletons at the peel of the bell stop in their tracks and back up a few feet, and they look in horror at the uh, blessed bell, and they will not approach. So oh, they're it's a, a bit blessed back bell. And you could run. Yes, you could get this way away from them. Granted, you're the I only character the who specifically knows that the bell is blessed. I remember that being mentioned to you specifically yeah. and nobody else. Ah. And it's not been brought up since. I thought about trying to cut the rope, but... Well, you see how it affects the... Oh, wait, who's out there? No, you're dead in here. You're, you're all with the bell. You saw how the it affected the bell. After, I, have, I have some inkling now. After this uh, sigil cracks, <laughs> this room <laughs> bursts into flames. Which oh, sweet! <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, it's hot in there. You probably don't want to spend much time in there. <laughs> yeah, I think the bell thing's a bust. I don't know. 
No, no, no. It's it's be fine. separated from the rope. I got to carry it. Well, well, this is the room that had the bombs in it. So it's a good thing they're not done. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, holy hell. Okay. That's <laughs> been exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it pop on fire? Uh, the eighth sigil broke. Yeah. Um, eighth and thus the fire begins. There's only four left, huh? All right, so it's you and two skeletal servants and the closed sarcophagus lid. Uh, what do you do? Um, candles, man, the candles. Uh, I try and light the candles. I say, I control the candles, I control you. Very good. You are able to light them. The only question is, do you get uh, ganked in the... Sure. <laughs> so four, five, six, no gank. One, two, three, you light the candles, but... Come along, priest. Priest! Four, five, six, yes. I do get ganked. One, two, three, you get... Four, five, she six. Like a wall spike. I, uh, Four, five, six. Fifty. Uh, so you light candle one, light candle two. You're dodging them. You light the third candle, and uh, right near Kidney's falls. Uh, oh, God. He land on the sarcophagus just in time to look back at them, and you hear the sound within of a death rattle. At which the skeletons drop their spikes, uh, yes. look at each other. And then go to start cleaning up the room. <laughs> and can I, can I be like, wait, get me, get me uh, medical attention. Sure thing. Look at each other. Before you clean the room. <laughs> How? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do a reaction check. <laughs> seven, they're neutral. Higher than seven is good. Lower than seven, not good. Oh, ah. Six. Okay, so they just kind of look at you and... Go to mop up the the blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, nullified the knight and the skeleton army. Oh, you are man. bleeding out, and you the hunter, <laughs> uh, the doctor. Yeah, she's bleeding out. <laughs> I'm a doctorate. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> well, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm a doctor, not a doctor. Yeah, fair enough. I, I don't know. I do have this giant stable. Perhaps I can get you <laughs> yeah. back into swords. Yeah. Tom starts uh, reeling the bell back in. You're in a fiery room. There is the skeleton creature, which has been given pause, to the sort of turned a bit by the oh, bell. I'm just going to grab onto the rope. <laughs> Tom! <laughs> Tom! Villain! No, Tom, listen! Is Mildred. Tom. She's in the computer. <laughs> the house. Tom. The computer house, sure. But it's haunted all the same. Tom. Tom's so uh, I mean, It's the just future. skeletons there, Tom! You have the only weapon. This bell, you know, your bone-breaking bell, is the only thing that breaks the bones. Uh, no, the whole, the whole Mildred. I hold no goose. Villains three, I eat ye. I'm not one of the three. All right, let's do a uh, sure, reaction. Sure, hope Doc is doing all right. Higher than seven. Higher than seven is good. Come on. Eight. Yeah. Uh, where's Mildred? He uh, holds you up. Trying to tell the truth at this point. Where where was the last episode? Was it was the second floor? Apocalypse or? Anne had Mildred in this room, but you're uh, now that you're thinking back, you ran past that room was open and the window was open. Tom? 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 I think Apocalypse Anne. That's her name! Apocalypse Anne! Trucks! He uses his breath blows you back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, think, I think she ran away with Mildred. It's the window. Just around the corner, you can check. It's open. He looks across the 200 foot long field to the woods over there. Mildred! He calls. They were holding our right. beak shut. So you gotta listen for a low groan. <laughs> No, no, shh, don't, don't make your own long groan. You gotta listen for the low groan. He walks towards that, but keeps an eye like on the woods and, uh, and the uh, manor. And this is the east, which I said was the smaller portion uh, where you can see Turnip Hill. Goes closer. He's gonna do 
the worst thing in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, <laughs> I can see it with my eyes check. But mm -hmm. four, five, six, he can see them. Two. I see no Mildred. He holds you up. He brings his fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, one more thing. Mildred knows your bell, right? Human bell from church. I got it on a lurch. <laughs> but if uh, you gong, the, do you not gong the bell to signal it's feeding time? <laughs> Bangs the bell no! down with you on it. Uh, how, how do you stay on the bell? You can let go. Yeah, no, I'm trying to hang on to this. <laughs> All right, trying to prove a point. <laughs> Uh, you'll get hurt. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can afford it right now. All right, well, uh, roll a. Uh, I can afford it anyway. One, two, three, and you'll be just smashed against the ground. Four, five, six, or at least on the top side. Damn it! So we burn. No, oh, the suspense. Get over here, you bastard! You guys, <laughs> mopping up your blood. Father, are you there? Three, I'm on the Most. lower side. I get smashed. <laughs> You feel uh, air knocked out of you, bones crushed, L lung punctured. Lung punctured. And then roll again to see. Uh, Broken rib is evolved. If Mildred responds, if you can get a four, five, six. See, come on, that's the important one. Come on, Mildred, you stupid bird. <laughs> Fuck, come on. <laughs> no, Mildred. Tricks, he says. <gasps> <laughs> Distraction! He looks back towards the house and just goes dragging the bell with him. I want you. Come on, get out of here. Did those other skeletons uh, fall apart after we trapped the guy in there? They um, just put down their weapons and started oh, that's cleaning, right. that's mopping right. up your blood. They go up to you and uh, they eat food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Can I like <laughs> suck the marrow out of one of their bones? <laughs> Um, right. yeah, you can grab one of their bones, uh, yeah. rip it out of their arm, uh, and then they will react. <laughs> Wait, are, there, there's some people. scattered bones around here already, aren't there? <laughs> oh, yeah! Some already busted open yeah. from the explosion of the bomb. You go open and suck them down. <laughs> the bones! <laughs> Does that work? I don't know, I'm trying it! <laughs> it's gotta be food plus time, so let's say that takes quite a while to... <laughs> I'm willing to take the time! <laughs> you want any more squirrels? However, <laughs> I gave all my squirrels away. This is good. So that takes some time. Tom comes back. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I rolled another bell roll, so I'll have to wait for Sue to get back for that, and then it's at 12 o'clock, so... Haven't banged this side! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna rest for a little bit, yeah. and then I'm gonna drink my gift Ooh. to the worm. <laughs> Alright! Right. Magic and rest, right? Very good. <laughs> getcha. You're gonna be a giant snake for a while. That's alright. So you go turn into a 20 foot... You rest for about... And then you're feeling a little bit like on the edge of unconsciousness drink. And <laughs> you are back with just one injury. So if you take another injury, you'll be down. <laughs> but you're, you are now a uh, snake with a broken bone, which who should notice this, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of The one bone. The one bone. Spine. <laughs> snake. Uh, and dragging the bell up to here with you on it, he comes up here oh, and God. then goes to whack it against the side of the house again. Do you want to stay hanging onto the bell or... No. <laughs> there are doors down here if you want to. You can get still hang on. That's a good point. <laughs> or is he just like stuck to it? <laughs> <laughs> Flattened. I okay, guess so I'll let go in this moment. As a jerk. Tom! Villains! Um, oh, man. Bad people! Here's the steeple! <laughs> he's, he's definitely losing steam. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance I could see the people before I let it go of the bell? You're pretty sure they did go the way you think. Okay. The window. How do I explain the moron? <laughs> <laughs> have him Tell him I have a doctorate! <laughs> <laughs> it's something. Yeah, he'll, he'll Perhaps it's <laughs> navigation or <laughs> geography. <laughs> Go over there! Are you goose finding? <laughs> goose, I'm shy. What is it? Fowl or something? 
Uh, what do you want to do as if a I giant rest snake? As a snake, will I like, get? Or I need to <laughs> curl up your magic on top of that. Wait, will you could eat. Work? You could uh, eat. <laughs> you could be just, just sucking on my bones. Just, <laughs> just eating the bones. <laughs> a barbarian and a giant snake. Wait, they are. I could ride you into take. battle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just give me a minute. <laughs> um, we one two. You're a garter snake. Three four. You're a venomous snake. Five six. You're a constrictor snake. Do the thing. A garter oh, snake. <laughs> We have maximized See, our looks game. spooky, though. <laughs> it's so, 40 feet long. You can do some damage. Yeah, right? you can still do a bite attack. <laughs> it's just not venomous or yeah. constrictive. Uh, Can't really follow up. We are I'm a 40-foot gardener snake. The yeah. gift of the worm. <laughs> <laughs> By default, it'd be a constrictor, right? <laughs> still constrict things, probably. Just not as strongly. Um, <laughs> you could always disadvantage. grab us and just leave. We could always just leave with what we got. You got the hand of Yid in some I've got bands. the hand of Yid. There's some other things. The captain is... God knows where. You could also. No, I'm not a game. What do you want to do? <laughs> Kill you! The giant does and he goes to stomp you as you as you're. Are you going in these front doors? <laughs> Stupid loves this. So the giant wants to stomp you. Uh, oh, stomp me! Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to get the hell out of here. I, I guess into the building I go again. Another tent. I knew I should have done more with them tight bits. Oh, please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Oh, okay, bro. No. That's what I could call them. I did. It seems to be a hunting room, but the giant's foot comes down to crush you as you go in. Uh, four, five, six to dodge. One, two, three. <laughs> you are crushed under a giant's foot. <laughs> One! <laughs> so there you are. <laughs> he says. He continues laughing just way more than anyone should. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Practicing his various inflections. <laughs> Long enough that I can recover? He's distracted. He's distracted. Um, in the hunting room, you can see. I'm gonna. <laughs> Wait, who can see? <laughs> uh, your your eyes have like bulged uh, a bit from being stepped on, but you're still conscious. Uh, it smells of old leather, dust, animal fur. Now that you've thrown open the uh, doors here, there's a huge fireplace. Of course, it's blazing. Um, and just above me. the. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see this. <laughs> My longest puncture, and I'm dying. That's the dirty animals. The eyes pop out of your skull. There are monster heads on the wall. There's actually a whippered head above the fireplace. It's no. looks... <laughs> really cool. It looks down at you as you begin to crawl into the room away from the giant, and it says, Enjoy us! <laughs> what, a, what a way to go out. <laughs> you know what? I choose the giant toes. I'm just turn around. <laughs> um, you are able to uh, <laughs> your way to being able to stand up again. You can pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Suck up, Bone <laughs> Yes! I'm desperate. <laughs> Do I have a, a, a wound now? This is how ghouls are made. You've got one injury, but not two. So, uh, oh. sucking the bone marrow kind of helped you get your wound back. But you still have, a, you know, a hole leaking blood. Can I grab some more bones and suck on them as I go? <laughs> No sucking on the move. Yeah, that, that doesn't fulfill the rest requirement. <laughs> but they are from magical skeletons. You run or suck. You can't do both. I need to move a magic carpet uh, adventure we ran once. Oh. <laughs> sucking on the move. Um, that was a good time. <laughs> you're in this room, and I'm trying to... You've got the mirror. Oh, it's been shattered, but in one of the shards, you see Elias Fenwick walking out of this room and down this hallway in the shard of the mirror. I take 
the shard and I say, you're a snake, and I run out the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to follow him through the shard. That you are able to do. He goes through here, through here. Uh, in your world, this gonna, door is open. I'm gonna follow him. It's a smart move. <laughs> you're a snake, followed by a literal snake. <laughs> Um, in the great oh. hall, you look down and see the floor is covered with a like pale green goo that seems to be pouring out of the dining room. And in it's just our pooled. world or the mirror in, world? In the real world. Uh, ectoplasm has pooled there. You come into this room, it's on fire. All of the, uh, the, the painting of the town was on fire. And as you enter, your painting of the bonfire blends <laughs> a place on your back. You <laughs> can't throw it into the ectoplasm. Nice. You throw it down and it goes out. Um, what else in this room? That's it, it's on fire. So the whole room is <laughs> burning. Uh, the inner sanctum is full of smoke uh, coming from that hole in the chimney. Uh, so it's hard to see. <coughs> but you can see that Elias in the mirror went through and it's odd, right? It's smoky in here, but in the reflection, it's not smoky because it's the past. And you see him move the rug on the floor. <gasps> Reveal a chalk circle with alchemical symbols and go to meditate there uh, with his <laughs> red book. Uh, first, he opens his red book, which also has symbols in it, uh, and he writes something down, closes it, and he meditates. I don't know what this fucking book is. Uh, <clears throat> does he chanting anything while he meditates? Just sign. I sit on the floor quick and try it. <laughs> nice. Uh, you move the rug yep. and reveal the chalk circle there. It's kind of messed up and faded away. You sit down. Nothing happens. <coughs> roll, roll to not cough. Uh, one, two, three, and coughing fit. Four, five, six. Seven. All right, coughing cough. fit. And I want to leave the room. <laughs> <going. laughs> in, in the burning room, also full of smoke, snake up in here. Uh, if you spend any amount of time in a fiery room, You'll be risking taking damage. Also, the giant is right outside this room, so we can see in. Thieves! <gasps> he says. He stops his ha ha ha's for a moment. I guess at him. Oh boy. Nice. Scared roll. Of snakes. Roll. Uh, if four, five, six, he'll be scared. Come on. Come on. Ah! <laughs> he goes to. No, oh, no. All the windows. <laughs> Can I go anywhere else? <laughs> Can I dive into the hallway or something? Yeah, you dive. Uh, he just busts, he just breaks all the windows. Like, the bell stops here, but it shatters all the windows. <laughs> Another sigil <laughs> breaks. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go. Oh, look at that. You, you, what food can I find? You, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back! You <laughs> the, smoke, you the smoke in the inner sanctum that is billowing out smells of soup. Oh, where is that at? Um, you came up the kitchen chimney to get to the it's inner the sanctum. Kitchen. The sigil that was the kitchen staff has now been broken. The kitchen staff were back at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go down to the kitchen then. You slither down these stairs into this area where there are. Uh, you haven't yet been here. You made a giant thing of tomato soup. Great, I'm gonna suck out your bone marrow. What? <laughs> you got the, the soup. The, the skeleton snaps. <laughs> uh, here is something interesting. As you come to this little area that leads into the kitchen, uh, there is a table with eight chairs around it, and there is a deck of cards just floating in midair, being shuffled by a specter uh, who, as you enter... Damn it, Captain, we don't have time for this. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it puts something uh, on the table, like, out of thin air. A silver brooch with emeralds on it is put on the table, and then it deals out blackjack into a bunch of empty seats. You have time for this. As a snake, you have time for this. And all you have to do is say hippie or, or knock on the table. He's my dick. What is dealing? A specter who, who slowly uh, comes into vision 
Um, it's purely an ethereal thing, or is there any physicality to it? It's ethereal, but it's see, it's visible. Uh, you can see a ethereal form uh, of a dealer now becoming more and more visible all the time, but clearly a ghost uh, of some kind of servant. He's got a, a chef's costume on. He seems to be a sous chef. He's not wearing the hat, though. He's kind of a barring expression. Uh, and then he's... You see a literal blackjack on you? You can see other... <laughs> You can see other ghostly coins appearing at various of the tables, and the dealer looks at the coins and then compares them against the crown and nods and uh, deals a game. Um, I come down the stairs behind the snake or over the top of him. I don't know where, how, where, where his body's all are. Yeah, where are, you, where are you? You're probably on the stairs part of you still. I drove into the hallway and then you slid it down. <laughs> You oh. see the poker or the blackjack game being dealt. Can we take the approach? You go to take the. Uh, you go to take it, but your hand is repulsed by uh, meta game energy and yeah. when the rules of poker. Yeah. The the dealer it sees you say that and puts a hand on it and uh, it becomes ethereal. And he snarls at you, and then sort of. That was nice. That was a good touch. Oh. <laughs> I'm just it gonna looks like the brunch is worth 500 gold pieces. I'm just going to go right past into the kitchen and see if there's any. Which one of those paintings were? That's actually like one of those paintings just set on fire, but I wager my ring of popularity. <laughs> the dealer like indicates he wants more. Mm. Yep. I haven't got all the mind swap contract. I put that up there. Did all my clothes and belongings turn into part of me? As a snake, or something. It's about to get real long. weird when you lose. You Does anyone you know how to do it? made for snakes. Blank jack really what? well. Anyone know how to really well. do it? Really well. Yeah, I can do the blackjack. What do you yeah. want? You be a dealer. Like, okay. yeah. How many you're, you're playing against? Just you two. Just the house? Yeah. Oh, just the house? Okay. Wait, it's. Those two versus the house? No, it's you are the house no, versus okay. you are right, That's it? No one else? The others are, it doesn't really matter if the ghost is going to lose. Thank you. Yeah, it's yeah. the house. No, you flip. No, yeah, I gotta yeah, flip, yeah. yeah. You show. Alright. Make your bet. Make me raise the bet. Uh, you, can down. you can double down. You can double down, which gives you one card and one card only. So if you want to sign want that boss. piece of paper, <laughs> get an ethereal a body. blank check if odds you are, will. Odds are, oh, like, in this situation, <laughs> the, 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 the player, <laughs> I'm going to assume you have a 10 over here, which would be 16, which you don't want to hit generally on a 16. I want to hit. But that being <laughs> said, <laughs> but you can, yeah, you can look. You the can house look has to stay on an 18 or higher. No, Excuse 16. 16 or higher? Oh, okay, right. Sweet. I can look. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You look. No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Generally, you assume that the down card is going to be a ten because that's the most, the most ten. You're, so you're saying from your perspective that's what you're going to use. You're, you should assume I have a ten. I should assume yeah. you have a ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you know, the odds are I don't know maybe two to one. It's a I ten. Want, I want to you got. It. I want to have ten. You want to get? You don't want to go over twenty one. Huh? It's pretty good. Fourteen. That's. Seven or less. Seven or less. Seven or less. And then, uh. And, uh you good? You want another hit? Odds are this is gonna be a 10. Can you, like, split? Or... Not now. <laughs> How do you do that? I don't know. You do that at the beginning. Oh, you know what? If you have the exact cards. You know same what? Cards. That, that card's up. Oh. I forgot, because it doesn't matter. Oh, because the dealer. Yeah. If we were playing against other people besides yes. the dealer, yeah. yeah. So that's a nine, that's, uh. That's, uh 19. Or not 19, this is 9, the 17. 17. Okay. You want to hit? Nine, you have, it's a, not you have a 5 or less, and he has a 10 showing. So, as. I'm not a lucky person when it comes to if this. You, uh, <laughs> well, if you assume this is a 10, I'm going to have 20, which means you're not yeah. going to win. Right. And yeah. the house has to stay on a 16. So, essentially, generally speaking, you have to beat a 16 or higher. I'm, I'm one above 16. Does the dealer show both? Or no? No, not till the end. Or, are you? Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Okay, so you're at 17. Yeah, yeah. You could stay and see if the house breaks itself, if it's not already there. How many rounds of this have we played? <laughs> as long as you, until you say pass. Until you say you stay. I mean, after this hand. Are we oh, you want to do it just again? The one hand? After this, you get the brooch. The 500 gold Even piece. Even if I lose? So the brooch. No, <laughs> if you lose, you lose, it, you lose your ring and your contract. Okay. 
Again, you could double down the contract by signing it. Just a blank check to one of these ghosts. <laughs> or just whoever to, wins the next or game. Or whoever, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so you got 17? Yeah. You're not going to... I'll take a... Uh, uh, yeah. Do you know what you have? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to tell you, but <laughs> you odds tell are... It's a ten. <laughs> Just, well, I can hit. <laughs> Come on, five. Oh, yes. oh, oh man! Oh, man! Is it twenty-one? Yeah. <laughs> did. Stay. Oh, Staying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> oh. Um. It was you, fantastic. It was so funny. The dealer nods to you, and the brooch is totally uh, uh material physical nice. material. Uh, and you get it. Uh, then roll a d10. Dealer's like, give me a chance to win my money back. <laughs> I got a seven. He produces a miniature painting uh, on the table as well, which becomes material before you. He raises his eyebrows at you. This looks cheaper. It's worth just a uh, 100 gold pieces. And he just points at your ring. And no. play again. <laughs> <laughs> Your ring's worth more than that. His chin. It's always his battle. How much is the ring? Like, I think 200 is the thing I heard earlier. How much gold do we need? Well, I, I, I'm just going to retire again after this. Fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, you, if you can outrun come back every week and play through. He, he, holds, he, holds, he holds up the picture, which is like of a bunch of like rosy faced, droopy eyed criminals behind bars. <laughs> it's not that much gold. Are you giving it to me? <laughs> go like, tell him to go like this to something else. <laughs> Roll another D10. Yeah, a little more. We got time. <laughs> Three. He, he uh, goes down underneath the table and then puts a pair of nice riding boots on the table, which becomes. How nice we How nice Five we... gold pieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More. <laughs> one more roll. <laughs> You'll add one more thing. Five. Goes out Spoon. a black candle. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right. Thank you for dealing that. Yeah, that was cool. The brooch with emeralds? Yep, silver brooch with emeralds. 500 gold pieces. You had an actual candle on the playing field? No. <laughs> the smell of soup is strong in the kitchen, which you enter. The floor is also covered with slippery ectoplasm oh, coming man. from here, just like right, it's oozing out of the ballroom. So you're like, it's right on your chin as is it snake. Well, can snakes can put their oh. chin up. No. Oh yeah, so, right. belly. <laughs> so your belly gets ectoplasmic. Uh, but there is soup in the cauldrons. Oh, is how hot? I'll drink it if it's not too hot. Yeah, you can take it out and blow on it. Slurp that sucker down. You're going you to become... soup. Just take some time to eat the soup. Half can... man, half snake, half ghost, half soup. Man, <laughs> <laughs> if you want soup, you can get you some too. You can't stop me. Yeah, is there ectoplasm slurps. in there? There's ectoplasm on the floor, so it's slippery. I guess it's not. If combat right. breaks out, it would be a problem. Slippery. Okay. It's just slippery. Yeah. No, no medical side effects to waiting for the plasma. <laughs> if we can eat this. As the doctor. <laughs> Doc! Oh, oh, yeah, you're dying. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, in the other room. Yeah, like, we don't know where Can you, like, bring the cauldron over here where there's not actual plasma? <laughs> Please? Can I understand what he's saying? I don't know. Oh, yes. You, have, you can speak both snake and human. <laughs> You can you can you can understand. Yeah, but I can't. Yeah, you can speak know. snake, but you can't speak. It's very very important that we know all the dynamics. Whatever. Yeah, I can I can pick up the culture and bring it over here. <laughs> Thank you. I I don't think the ectoplasm is gonna hurt you anyway. Either way. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Is there also a bowl? Where you are. You have a bowl oh, you can bring yeah, over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> there are bowls in the cupboards. Yeah. And get some china. <laughs> no, okay. We should run for our lives. Can you blackjack? We should run for our lives. Meanwhile, you rush to the hallway. Oh god. Are you still alive? I don't know. I'm very. 
you have, oh no, you're you're in you're in the I'm in the lower level. Yeah. It's right out this door. Like, no, there's still a missing room. You uh, entered, and there's all kinds of those animal heads. Intruders! Yeah, the... got a wavering head freaking out at me. Ears. <laughs> <laughs> Giant. Sometimes you get more. <laughs> Chiton comes out of its ear. Intruder! You hear it squeaking across this. <laughs> Into the room comes Helmut Half Sword. Oh, oh, my friend, how are you? And you see behind him that there's a taxidermied owl bear, which oh, takes that moment to strike oh, <laughs> and crack the helmet around the throat. Helmut <laughs> <laughs> says. Four, five, six, hello, one, two, three, owl bear. <laughs> the owl bear raises him up into the air. He goes black and blue. <laughs> you hear the screaming coming from uh, through this. Well, I guess from this area you haven't been yet. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. Oh, it's because I should you. <laughs> oh, so we know it's a... Uh, oh. <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm into this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slither back over here carrying the soup. Right. <laughs> Wait, uh, do you want to go back for them? <laughs> That's, the That's how I feel. That's, the That's legit. <laughs> Nothing else I'm going to eat. Organ hot or whatever it is. <laughs> it is. I have a plan. What's that? We could go fetch the the mon the notch naming stick and you could shove it in his ear again because you're a forty foot snake. <laughs> <laughs> the giant, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the stick with the head on it out the front. Yeah, door. yeah. So if you got there's, it, and then there's just also a two thousand gold piece gem out there. Oh yeah, we could just grab that and go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole bunch of them, aren't there? Like they rained out. Just, of... just one. Yeah, yeah that and a broken out. bolt or something. Oh yeah, the meaty <laughs> arrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mostly, Does he just actually have a giant group. jet backpack. Nah, he should look more like uh, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. That doofus. Yeah, that's perfect. That does embody everything he's been doing. <laughs> um, My so beard is made of clouds. <laughs> You're healed. Uh, you've eaten enough soup now to heal. Then you hear it up in the other room. Oh, this is too so I can see who's doing it. And then... <laughs> I'm, I'm just running with it. Um, <laughs> Uh, the owl bear there. Pair, 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 pair. <laughs> you're just, your eyes are bulging. Your every breath hurts, and you're just seeing this. <laughs> Bonebreaker Tom's outside, looking through the window, like it was the moment he's not. It was hell that yeah. showed up that I knew I was doomed. <laughs> he was my rescuer. Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> the coward has showed up. Oh good, just immediately. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go out the door. It's fine. I'll just go back out. Another roll. Helmut goes even more black and blue, and you can see blood from the talons going down. I was about right. <laughs> you continue to move. If you want to try and save them, I'll help. But I am retired, so if you don't, I'll go home. <laughs> Intruders! Says the wyvern. I'm straight up retired. There's a room out front. We can leave, yeah. bro. We're set. You're a giant You're good. snake. Right, should we try and... Oh man, it's up to you. Um, oh god. I can't, I'm a snake. I can't. You're the man of the church, and you have to tell me what's right and wrong. <laughs> I've got the little thing around my snake head. I genuinely couldn't care less. This is the poetic death that I definitely had as my through line. Do, we, do I see him? I, well, I already started heading this way, so. Do I see him coming through the You door? come into a room you've not been to yet. You can see uh, Bonebreaker Tom's dirty beard through it. Uh, the oh. bottom of his bathrobe has gotten rather soiled as he's been traipsing about. It didn't go open, his... did it? He's been in a bathroom this whole time. Like, he, <laughs> got, he has goose straight, like, strips told while he was in the shower sort of concept. Yes! yes! Oh. The floor is carpeted, which is nice. It muffles your wet slithering. Uh, and the tapestries on the wall are repairing themselves. They're oh, actively, actively knitting themselves, and they're beautiful. Each one is worth probably 500 gold pieces. There's a hunting scene. There's one with flowers, a battle scene, one of warriors oh, being entombed. But that's that. And you hear the screams coming from this room just as your friend cracks open the door, and you can see the black and blue face of the wizard. <laughs> Uh, you two see each other, and then from behind, that almost stabs back uh, into that owl bear, and you just hear the sound of a knife going into stuffing. Oh, because <laughs> it's taxidermied. 
Um, well, I'm gonna I'll leave the suit right there. <laughs> Try to do a little thumbs up with my tongue. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get better, there's the suit. <laughs> Get well soon. You've been, you've been thrashed by a giant. The scene that attacks every now and then killing your friend. And then a giant snake. You don't know who this is. Well, you know I have the suit. Yeah. <laughs> you know I have the suit. With like a priest collar on. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, so, so like a whole cauldron of soup? How much soup is yeah. coming in with your giant snake body? I just I picked up the cauldron and put it there for me. <laughs> Did you tip it over so I could eat it or drown it? Get out there. <laughs> uh, Honestly, use I can't hands. heal without eating it. You can't <laughs> use your hands. That's all. Yeah. So yeah. Well, do you, you want to give him the bowl? Or? No, yeah. I don't, I'll throw it. To, I'm not even in that room. I just stayed over here. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Climb up. You roll Just up. bloody tears in my eyes as I'm watching Helga die. <laughs> so, you know, while you do this, I want to run out. Can I run out this door and go over here and pick up the stick and the jewel? Yeah, it just takes time, and it takes time for you to eat soup and for Helmut <laughs> and Alabear to continue their battle. Uh, Helmut gets another few stabs in, uh, and you can hear it like. He's, he, you look back, he slits the owlbear's throat, but stuffing just comes out. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, man. Mm-hmm. See, I wish he'd a magical this. sword. And that Albert just me. pushes the stuffing back in with his other paw. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and continues with one paw. <laughs> Almost in the air. Um, and then you make it back with the stick, and then you've uh, gotten enough soup and rest. <laughs> well, it's another roll for their combat. Helmut. Uh, I filled in that punctured in hole in my lung with <laughs> soup. Cuts off that one arm that was putting the stuffing back in. So now it's just got one arm holding Helmut up. Snaky father, and then, put this in the giant's face. The soup? No, oh, the, the stick with the gnashing head. <laughs> oh, is it still with the head on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's missing one of its teeth, but otherwise. Uh, okay. Did its tooth turn into the scorpion? <laughs> I jank out of its teeth and throw it out the door at the giant. See what happens. <laughs> Turns into a scorpion. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> what does the scorpion do? Um, it doesn't come back at us, right? <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Well, it's since you throw it at the uh, giant, that's what it's going to see. Um, I guess we should determine which way it's facing this, <laughs> so that it could be bad for you. Yeah, that's really fair. Clock. Midair. Two o'clock. So mostly looking at the giant. The scorpion goes up. Um, and they have a melee. Uh, it destroys the scorpion. It's like there are 30 teeth left. All right. All right. <laughs> if only I had a bomb left to put in the head. We just... used all our bombs. Help me! Help Is there a way I can... Use a stick as a snake and <laughs> shove it in his mouth. face. You hold it your mouth. Eat you know what? him. <laughs> Just put him in your mouth and I'm slither a, away. Gardener snake. <laughs> I'll I'll grab on. Yeah, it's perfect. You're not poisonous. Just nab him and go. Nab who? It's Helmut. Helmut. Look, oh. he's dying. <laughs> Hell up, Helmut bear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and strike at Helmut. You're not trying to try and grab him. All right, you're gonna pull. It's a tug of war with the owl bear. So uh, four, five, six. You can grab can it out I, of the owl bear's arm. Right. Come on. Can I, uh, what were you gonna say? Can, well, can I bite off the owl bear's arm? Ooh, you could bite at it, uh, and it's and then it could choose lose its arm or lose its life. Yeah. Oh, okay. So four, five, six to. Um, oh. Get the owl, harm the owl bear, take off its arm. Uh, but if you get a one, two, or three, uh, then it gets a free attack on a helmet. Mm. Okay. Nice. Nice. It's going to choose to lose its arm, which you bite off, and now it's armless and it runs away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. It says, oh, as it runs. And then it looks back as, and then says, Oh. <laughs> like this is the last I try, time. I try and motion for the helmet to jump on my back. 
Ice balls. <laughs> no. I'm the sea. Ice two. So you got two attacks? Uh, uh, Helmut? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's hurting. He's actually got three hits on him, but apparently... Oh. Er, nope, yep, he has two hits on him, but apparently he's a little stronger than you guys. He's still... Oh. Uh, <laughs> good for him. Uh, all right. I'll grab him when it's my turn. And... Oh, goody. Uh, oh, no. Time, uh, you know, was the Tom the Bone ah, Breaker is ah. breaking both. Two more skeletons come uh, through this way. Hey, wait a from minute. The IV room. <laughs> Friendly skeletons? One has muddy boots and a candlestick, and the other is wearing a blue bonnet with a candlestick. <laughs> And they go and light the candlesticks in the uh, the fireplace here, and then put them on the uh, dinner table, and then look back at it. <laughs> okay. Well, not aggressive. Hold out the other end, the non-gnashing end of this ten-foot pole to you to grab, so I can pull you in. <laughs> the other end. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's the what's your overall stratagem at this point? Are you gonna leave or? Oh leave yeah, if we could leave, yeah. that'd be the way to go. We've got a chance to take and grab that giant ruby up front. I already go out the opposite. The ruby. Got the like, ruby. Oh, then let's just go the opposite way and get the hell out of here. Um, as you leave through this door, Bonebreaker Tom does see you and say, "Villains!" and begin to stomp in that direction. So he's Wait, still an no. obstacle. Oh God, no! Uh, go back in that door. <laughs> the front door. The front door. The yeah. one with the pillars. Yeah. It was our way. Give it a little. Is it up there? <laughs> <laughs> you look through, you see the ruby. Uh, I wanted to grab the ruby with the pole. When I oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Grab this. That makes total sense. Grab it and go. Uh, this is a two. Yeah. It's a yeah. one, which is also something. Yeah. No, hey, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I must have this. I didn't find my giant book. What the hell, man? <laughs> so you're coming out through here, and as you do, your huge combusting sound is one of the walls. One, two, three, four. Lights on fire. One, two, three. <laughs> so that north wall is just a flame, uh, and the wall is the floor is ectoplasmic. You're slipping and sliding as you go. Oh boy! But you're able to get out the front door, and there's there's cover now. But if you go far enough out, you will be able to see. That's what if we go that way? <laughs> that maximize your yeah. coverage. Yeah. How far is the woods that way? Two hundred feet. It's like a two hundred foot circle. Let's go, let's go, let's go! You got this snake, man! Can we all ride on the snake? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully healed. So I'm not a little bit, but you can help. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Shuffle! Down. What, what, what? The ectoplasm gives a little more flying. <laughs> what treasure do you all have on you at this point, just for visuals? So, my entire inventory is my lifting belt, uh, <laughs> the 10 foot pole with a gnashing head on it. <laughs> Uh, mind swap contract, my original table leg, uh, a fire oil flask, 2,000 gold piece fire oil ruby, yeah. uh, the golden ring of popularity, a <coughs> silver brooch with emeralds, and that's it. You're kind of decked out. Nice. So everyone, it sounds like everyone has little bits of treasure. Yeah. I also have a sheath that is empty of the talking sword. That's... That's my big oh, defining feature. As you I go had, out the uh, front door, the sword. What were you going to say? Uh, so I'll, I, I grabbed gold pieces here and there. Yep, there you go. Ready really nice. from the thing. But I assume it's all merged into my sleep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, totally. You're like a druid form. <laughs> nice. As you exit, the sword says, Well, well, cowards, running from the scene, are we? Causing... This die to roll. Oh, uh, damn. It's a three, up. so. But it is. Shouldn't we stand and fight? I dare say that giant's almost had a hoe, eh? How do you know? Is it picking up as we're going by? You know, the snake ain't one of us. Mm-hmm. I'll go ahead and do the stabbing motion, like, and then she. Ah! <laughs> Shut it up already. <laughs> <laughs> so you're holding the sword in as you go through here. Um, Matt, why don't you roll for the party? One, two, three. Uh, he's going to be on top of you. Four, five, six. You can make it to the woods before oh, he gets God. to you. <laughs> to the woods. Oh, buddy. Oh! Oh! Matt, why? So you're in the field between the woods we and the place. Did. And the giant goes to step on uh, 
all of you. Oh, uh, we can't fit us all under one foot. <laughs> yeah, let's do one, two, three. Oh, no. One is the giant snake's tail. Um, roll to dodge uh, with advantage since, you, sir, since you're serpentine, which means that uh, one, two, or three will be, it'll pin you in place, but not cause you an injury, but you'll all stop your progress. Mm -hmm. Four, five, and six, it'll pin you in place and hurt you. It breaks some Okay. Oh, so I have no chance of evading at all? <clears throat> well, that's a good point. Uh, success should mean evasion in this case. Four, five, six would be evasion. One, two, three is pin in place, no, no, no harm. Okay, four, five, six is evasion. Oh. Oh. So you're you're pinned in place. It's really like holding you with two of his toes. Can you rear up and lift me over next to his face? Are you gonna stay on my back? I, I'll try. Right. Yeah, I control. Mm -hmm. Well, right. ectoplasm might make it tricky, huh? No. No. I just, <laughs> I just had it on my belly. It wouldn't be on my back. True. All right, you're on the back. You're raised up. What do you want to do? I'm gonna. I wanna, is he like bellowing or roaring or anything like that oh. right now? Of course he I is. I a fistful of teeth from the gnashing of throwing in his in his mouth. Yeah. Let's see his how many mouth. How many? Come on. That is will be That's terrifying. Seven plus three. Ten of the teeth. <laughs> Go in. <laughs> Ten giant scorpions. <laughs> he just grabs his face, slips his foot, and you're able to slither away to victory. Wow, what heroes! <laughs> you beat the waking of Willoughby. <laughs> oh, he falls on the ground. His face gets full of toxic. My goose! I was just take a breath. You make your way to town. <laughs> Still, you can hear him crying. <laughs> when he robbed a haunted house on the hill and helped some randos steal from this giant that did nothing yeah, on him. You are true heroes. Oh man. Do we get we I slithering into town? Is it chance? <laughs> yeah, you're all gonna wait on the outskirts till the spell wears off. So <laughs> so consider you, us unretired. <laughs> you have the hand of Yid. Yep. Uh, what was the other art of I mean, so the head. The head of the uh, twelfth Altar is worth four thousand gold pieces. Oh nice. so you bring out of obscurity in the sands of time these long lost treasures which you could sell if you wanted. Uh, for a lot of money and a lot of reputation. Uh, you've conquered Willoughby Hall um, and all these treasures you can turn in. A few months later, let's go one at a time, just take turns. What does life look like uh, for Father Penis, Dr. Hemler, <laughs> and uh, George the Leg a few months after this wonderful adventure? I don't know. Do we, do we stick together? Do you know more adventures? Why? I like the idea of separating only in the fact, in the idea that my guy, the amnesiac thing is like a constant effect where he just, I'm totally in the exact same position as before. I, maybe I know, I may not be good at this again, but. Who are you? Uh, just, just, just him and that talking sword. Now it has a sheath. <laughs> Something to remember you guys by. I'll be good. Certainly uh, sold that well, hand, here's the question. Was useless. Does, uh, <laughs> does Helmut meet up with his friends again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, have the golden goose. goose? <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, no, Helmut's alive. He grabbed yeah, with you. Yeah, uh, Helmut uh, looks for Lisbeth Anne uh, in, in the meantime, 4.6. He never finds Lisbeth again. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so Lisbeth and <laughs> Apocalypse Anne seem to have ditched him, but he does, he looks through the woods to find their trail and find them and finds out that actually Lisbeth was killed, left, or left for dead. Uh, she had scorch marks all over her body, so oh. theoretically Apocalypse Anne right. decided to take a bigger share Murder. of her treasure. Oh, damn. And she is at large. So Apocalypse Anne has a golden goose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I say, why don't we yeah. quest after her? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, revenge. if Helmgard, what what was his name again? Helmut. 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 If Helmut, Helmut showed up, uh, uh, he's a charming fellow. I, I'd help you guys out. I he's might lose track of your yeah. names, but uh, do it again. Uh, are we, would that be something we go straight into? I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, whatever. I'd, I'd like to imagine the leg has a ranch now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a giant scorpion ranch. <laughs> <laughs> How many One of the best breeders. Yeah, huh? How 20, many teeth did you have? 20 teeth. That's a good yeah. breeding population. Oh, <laughs> and then uh, uh, gilded my yeah. leg in, in like adamantium or something. And uh, and I, you know, I don't know how much that costs, but I, I thought it would work. What do we get? I had what do we the get? Yeah. 
Um, virtually. But I'm ready to go it's back. It's probably 20,000 <laughs> by, by three, 7,000. Answer the piece. Oh, so what, we take a few months off and then we go at, yeah, at the... Yeah. That sounds good to, to yeah. You set up yeah. a scorpion ranch, you could just go into retirement. Let's, I mean, I'm probably not going to run the uh, hunting of, Liz, of, of right. Apocalypse Anne, so another go. Uh, you find Apocalypse Anne's lair, this is just real quick. Like, <laughs> just throw some things out there. Uh, you find her lair in a... You have to go through a magic painting. Uh, oh, that's cool. Into a museum where she keeps all the various wonders that she's stolen, and there's like a lovely little pen where she keeps Mildred. Uh, in <laughs> there, it's it's enchanted with a silencing spell, so you can never hear the honking. But she harvests the golden eggs from there. And she stays in a sumptuous bedroom, <laughs> yeah, but you're it's able pretty to. Terrible. <laughs> You're able to infiltrate, and what do you do to avenge? Do we all ride in on scorpions? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so I take the goose. Got got <laughs> you just you take, take the goose and leave. leave. Yeah, well, if we have to fight her, I guess kill her and take all her treasure. But yeah. <laughs> I imagine I also have a potion that turns me into a dragon this time. <laughs> I just, yep. I just imagine. For the final show. Yeah. What's for sale? Like, right. Can we buy magic items on the final? I imagine at some point, right? <laughs> you can trade for them. But given that the artifacts you stole were famed, uh, you didn't get the faces, but you got the head and the hand. You could trade those. You trade one to get an adamantine leg. You trade one to get the dragon potion. And then some gold besides as a cut to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it would depend on how much you guys tell them. If we're going, who we're going after? Is Helmut with us? Oh yes, Helmut yeah. wants to Helmut, get revenge. He wants to, yeah, it's his, it was his, so you he sneak wants in, to kill him? you free the goose, but Helmut goes ahead into okay. Apocalypse <laughs> and Sumptuous Boudoir, and there's an explosion of a fireball and a clash of steel, uh, and then the scorpions <laughs> ride in and, <laughs> <laughs> and Apocalypse and it's a bloated scorpion bow, so and then he takes her to the authorities because uh, he's an upstanding person, and he becomes famous. Uh, for being the one who nice. finally brought Apocalypse into justice. Nice. nice. Yeah, Can yeah. we tell So if we loot Apocalypse Ants, <laughs> we have like this priceless collection of I'm going to start my own second. parish. Oh my god. Yeah. The Church of the Golden Goose. I'm going to start a ranch of half dragon, half giant scorpions. <laughs> you <don't> breed them? <laughs> She has she has an emerald uh, loot, which might be interesting oh, to you yeah. as a musician. You have a whole adamantine table. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. Good game, everybody. Yeah, thank you. That was hilarious. Uh, also, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday. Thank you. Hope this was as fun for you as it was for us. Yeah. Yes, this is my idea of a good time. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the little dice bag. Is that yours?